Okay, I think everything's ready. Let's do this, guys. Oh, this is cool. So it actually tells you um, how long you've been playing each save. So we're going to do this one at 4 hours and 46 minutes. Now, what was Stay the... out of my way, this and you it. might learn something. So the last thing that we did in this game was we actually just barely got past the mayor slash coroner that was blocking us from going to the outskirts of town. He said we needed to have a map of the city to do so so we don't get lost. And then he took all the maps of the city and tried to hide them so we couldn't go anywhere. But instead, we managed to make a photocopy of one, bring it here, and make some progress. Oh, and you had to go when we got the job at the game studio? Yes, yeah, so you didn't miss too much, Phantasma. We were pretty much just trying to figure out a way to get to this area. This is where the clown is, and this is actually where Dolores is, who's the one who got the job. But we're probably going to bring these detectives to go meet them and talk to them. Oh, this is cool. A little overhead map. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with Dolores is and how she figures into the entire game. <laughs> yeah, we know she doesn't have a happy ending after Dolores from Visage, right? Okay, so we can go to Abandoned Factory, Trailhead, Edmund Mansion, Hotel, Radio Station, Old... Well, there's all kinds of places we can go. Or to the actual town. This is cool. Um, I guess we should go to the hotel first. This is where we were trying to find... Because we have a room key to this hotel. We're trying to find out more about the person that died in the river. So yeah, let's go here. Edmund Hotel. Oh, some of those letters were missing. I wonder what that spelled. I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, this is one of those automatic rotating ones. <laughs> You don't see that very often. It's probably more of a health hazard than anything else. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Hmm. Two? Somebody else is already here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. Paranormal, you say? What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Flashback. I love that so much. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck yeah. wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors better get ready for them now this is Dolores's father right and Chuck was Dolores's uncle I believe oh you're gonna go hang out with your cousin cousin she's also your best friend and do some retail therapy <laughs> get some venting out dingo I totally understand well have fun hope you have a great time okay let's see what we have on his to-do list this is Franklin so we have to get ready for the meeting we need a disguise appearance check into the hotel and get Duplicate of Prospectus, which we can probably go to that printing press. They have that photocopier there, but we need a nickel for that. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. And he has like five toys with him. It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out and you get a plush pillow. Don't tell Chuck, but pink is my favorite color. <laughs> Does he have something else for each one? I'm curious. Hey, welcome back, Nate. Your dog needed to open the door. <laughs> nice. I hate blue. Let's hope I never go blue in the face. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Also, that was very popular in the 80s. I love all the 80s references in this game. Kids will love the orange pillow bear. 
These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Okay, they might say the same thing for all of them. And that's so cute, Nate, that your dog really wanted to go see Yuki. Let's go this way. I have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, what is going on here? I'm curious. Yeah, and it takes place in 87. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I love all the references for that. Um, so there it looks like... Is this somebody without a head right here? And this is somebody with like a horse head? Or is it actually a horse? I can't really tell down here. It looks like a person wearing a horse head. Some guy up here with a gun. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. Oh, maybe we can take a coin because we might need a nickel for the photocopy. Let me see if I can do that. I don't want to pick that up. Maybe not. <laughs> I try to think, let's take the money. I have no idea what they're doing. Could be headless gold panning. Headless gold panning. Yeah, of course it is. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. It looks better from this side. <laughs> Words don't do it justice. He's got water coming out of both guns and his mouth. That's pretty incredible. I know, Nate, it's such a shame. Just a tragedy. Probably not, Jumi. And I love them for that. Because you don't get a lot of games like this. Oh, so we have a telephone we can use if we figure out a reason to use it. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, so this is kind of nice. I didn't mention this before, but um, if I want to like look at something without actually going down here and click look at, you could just right click, which I love that little bit of convenience. It helps a lot. This computer's not working too well. The Hoteltron, of course it is. Why isn't it the Hoteltron 3000? A bell for calling the sheriff. I mean, hotel manager. <laughs> Wait, he's the sheriff, hotel manager, and the coroner? This guy is so busy. How does he do it all? Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? <laughs> of course, he has to have some strange little speech thing, right? So the, the sheriff goes, um, a Reno. The coroner goes, a who, and the hotel manager goes, a boo. <laughs> Let's ask if they do photocopying. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, a boo. Da boo, a boo, a boo. That is to say, we <laughs> normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper. Unless I get more paper, a boo, I won't be able to help you out. Okay, so they can do it, they just need paper. That's not too bad. Totally normal, right? Totally normal. <laughs> um, and we need a private room, too. I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuck Abu always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How else may I be Abu of service? Oh, so we can just use the penthouse, then. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Oh, that's right. So we got to get out of here. I wonder if we can go upstairs already. To the penthouse. Maybe we'll find... Oh, that didn't work. How does this work? There we go. Penthouse, of course. Oh crap, what's going That's on? That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. It's still going up. It just failed to go all the way to the top. We're two floors down. So do I need to find a way, like stairs maybe, to get to the very top? And the wallpaper's coming off this place. An ashtray for the smokers. What an amazing view. It's locked. 
It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> Should I be checking all these? I don't know. <laughs> it's locked. I actually don't see any stairs either. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I think it's locked, guys. So, there are no stairs for us to take. Are we going to have to fix the elevator as well, maybe? Let's get back in here. <laughs> Guess what? It's locked. <laughs> what is this? Lobby? And what's M? Probably maintenance. Maybe the basement or something. Let's try this again. Jeez. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Where's it taking us? All the way down to maintenance? Or is this the lobby? No, this is back to the lobby. Okay, well, let's try maintenance. See if that works. That worked better. We're just right here. Ballroom floor. Oh, we could have just taken those stairs. Oh, I can't actually click on that. Do I have to click open? It's locked. Okay, that's why. <laughs> it's also locked. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, what's back here? It's been lipstick to death. <laughs> Talk to annoying kid. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. Do we have to turn off his boombox? This must be making that terrible noise. Let's, uh, let's use it. Hey, there dude, what's your damage? Oh, he has a disguise. We need that. Yo, dude. Dude. <laughs> it's you as a video game character. That's awesome. Right before you get lost in the woods, right, Nate? What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> You're too old to understand. What? <laughs> What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. Of course it is. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? Like, <laughs> What are these shoes? What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? Oh, I think I used to have a pair of Reeboks back in the day. You know what? The coolest shoes when I was a kid back in the 80s. I think they were called LA Gear or something like that. And they had like these light up shoes. I mean, I'm sure they still make different brands now. But every time you step down on them, they would kind of like light up. So useless. But maybe if you're walking at night. But otherwise, they were super cool. And I think they called them Pump Ups or something. They had some shoes. I forget which brands they were. But you would actually press this little kind of like pump on the tongue of the... The shoe and it would like pump up the rest of the shoe so it would conform to your foot I suppose with air let's see and they were tight as heck when you were a kid too and you were poor and never got any awe were those Heelys the, uh, is that the light up shoe or the ones that would pump up what's with all the latest and greatest I'm not grody like you everyone knows that unless you got the latest and greatest you might as well barf I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. This guy is such a stereotype of like every kid you would see like an 80s TV show or movie. That's awesome. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Ah, so that's how we're going to get him to give us his stuff. If we make him think that he doesn't have the latest and greatest, he's going to get rid of his disguise. So we'll say your glasses are not the latest and greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Okay, so we have to convince him somehow. Maybe we should just try all of them, though. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. Oh, the Heelys are the ones of the wheel. Okay, I've seen kids with those. I've never had those. I don't think those were a thing when I was a kid. It's like having rollerblades and shoes <laughs> kind of combined into one. 
And he said, you used to work at a grocery store, Phantasma, and you got hurt more than once by some kids whose parents allowed them to fly down the aisles of those things. Honestly, Relentless or Phantasma, they should be more based on like rollerblades or skateboarding. You can only use them in certain places, you know, otherwise, nope, get the hell out. And Relentless, you were poor when you were a kid, but your parents still got you stuff. Um, but I was well aware of the situation and always felt guilty when I got the latest and greatest stuff. Fashion-wise, I mean, you guys can tell, I don't care at all about that. I mean, honestly, from yesterday when I took Andy shopping, she was getting much more, of course, fashionable, cool stuff. Comes at a pricier thing, but like me, I'm pretty much happy with anything. I just like something comfortable, not too expensive, something easy. I would totally know what the latest and greatest is. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Ooh. Not groovy. Eighties. I almost think gnarly might be the most appropriate. Or was that 90s? Is that early 90s or was that 80s? I think gnarly is probably the best. Here's my chance. I'm going to go with gnarly. Fly could be peeps is later. Uh, groovy is more like 70s, I think. So let's go with gnarly. I know this gnarly dude who... Oh, gosh. MTV was big in the 80s. <laughs> hey, Tiny, how's it going? <laughs> Fly Homie is 90s? Okay. Was on MTV and... Okay, not... Oh my god, YOLO. What's the cat's pajamas and bee's knees? That's way older. That's not 80s. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. This is probably it. I think this is it. Um, Daddy-o, I think that's also might be like 70s. Wicked. <laughs> that sounds like 80s. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! Yes, I, I proved totally it! I you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, <laughs> I'm gonna rock out. <laughs> you know... Oh, don't you just love this music? Is that really a achievement, though? Or did I just basically age myself? <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good thing to do. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. Okay, so I think that I have to find something first to work with him, but let me try this. I wonder if I could just hey, tell dude, him what's your damage? you don't have the latest and greatest and he'll get rid of it. If you don't have the latest and greatest for me, I don't have the time for you. Oh, don't you just love this That's music? true, Jumi. At least I didn't prove that I am so old that in the 80s I didn't know what was the terminology at the time. Although, to be honest, I always think of myself more as a 90s kid because I was born in 82. So at the end of the 80s, I was like eight years old. Like you're not into cool and hip stuff so much when you're seven, eight years old. My formative years were definitely in the 90s. I'm not thirsty. Okay, so we could use the water fountain if we need it for something. But I think we might be done here. I think we have to get out of here and uh, explore elsewhere. You can't be older than you already are at the ripe daddy age. Yeah, what is what is official daddy age? <laughs> Relentless, I'm not thirsty. Can't relate. Don't understand. Not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done before the investors arrive. Oh, so we actually do have to do everything here. Okay, I was thinking I could probably go elsewhere to like get something for him because he wants the latest and greatest glasses so that I can get the disguise. Oh, we can actually check out the hotel. A poor Skywalker, if I suddenly disappear, I fell asleep. It's still early, Skywalker. Are you pretty Impressive. tired? You know, I was kind of disappointed with ramen yesterday. We hadn't been to this ramen shop in a long time. I used to love it so much. Um, but now, of course, because of COVID and everything, I haven't been there since COVID started. Um, 
they've changed a lot. And they gave us like these kind of more disposable bowls than the usual ramen bowls. We, we ate there, but outside. And uh, I feel like their portions were so much smaller than they used to be. I was kind of like, what the heck? I mean, I'm <laughs> trying to lose a few pounds, so maybe that's not a bad thing, but still. We went there for a treat, and it was just kind of like, meh. <laughs> Tiny, I think Relentless might know more about daddy ages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where are we finding glasses, guys? There's really not much here in the fountain we can mess with. We have a bunch of pillow bears. Could I give him one of the pillow bears? There's also this glass right here. It's been lipstick to death. Can we pick it up? I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Hmm. There's gotta be something with that. Can we use it? It's already been used. I feel like I'm missing something easy here. And the computer just doesn't work at all. Maybe we have to check each floor. Maybe we'll find something on a different floor. Oh, I saw earlier you mentioned, Skywalker, you were dealing with some hotel um, internet, which wasn't working too well for you. So, oh, you guys are in a hotel while they do your plumbing. That makes sense. I was, I was curious if you were on a trip or something, but no, that's cool. Hopefully the hotel's pretty nice. They're treating you well there. That's so silly. He's he's a DILF and they're 23, really? I mean, you could be a dad at 23, absolutely, but that's probably not what most people think when you think of that term. Okay, is there anything in floor three? I feel like I don't need to check every single one of these doors, but I'm looking for just anything the doors out, of the, are closed. out of the ordinary, you know? Yeah, let's meet his dad. <laughs> Although this feels kind of like I'm on the wrong path. There's really nothing that would make me think, oh yeah, you got to go here. Luckily, the guy moves so quick. It's pretty quick going from place to place. And we still have to find paper to use for photocopying as well. They can't want me to check every door, right? I would assume we'd find one door that's just like open or something that looks unique. I'm not seeing anything. They all pretty much look identical. An ashtray for the smokers. We never find anything there. See, that was five, I think. Oh, we're already on six. Okay, let's check seven. Yeah, stay hydrated, Relentless. Nothing here. And I wonder what we can do with that glass downstairs that's used with lipstick over it. It won't let me pick it up. I was going to say, maybe we can give the kid our glasses. But then we can't see, because I'm sure his are not prescription glasses set to our character's prescription. Yeah, these are all identical, guys. But at least I can say we've looked at all of them. Oh! Never mind. I guess we were supposed to check all of these. All these doors are open. It's an unplugged TV. What are we going to do with the TV? Can we take it? I don't want to pick that up. No. Someone must have left it here. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. Hmm. And the Hoteltron, what is this? It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly. 
so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. Hmm. It's like, how does it do that? I thought it was just a picture, a place to put pictures up. Oh, oh no, Phantasma. Let's talk about something sad. We're getting a snowstorm, and normally this would mean a snow day. But now, because of virtual learning is successful, they're making us do virtual class. Oh no. You almost had a free day, Phantasma. Almost. Just a goodwill snow day, you know? Because you normally you would be looking forward to that kind of day. It's like, oh, I guess we just got to take a day off. Not anymore. There we go. Now we're seeing some new stuff. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. Can we take it? I don't want to pick that up. Oh, I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Don't want to click on the lid. I there don't want that. There we go. Now we can see. The lid of a toilet? Things don't get more amazing than that. <laughs> really? The lid of a toilet? Things don't get more amazing than that. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> And another phone book. I don't think we'd do anything with that. Spider Monkey 83. Let me drop over here real quick. And Spider Monkey 83. Ahoy! Ahoy, Janie. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders, to John Cadia. Ooh, you were doing some Assassin's Creed Rogue. I got to jump in and lurk a little bit while I was getting ready for my stream. How's it going, Spider? How was your stream? How's your weekend so far? If you guys have not already followed Spider Monkey, be sure you click on that link and drop him a follow. He's a good friend. I've known him forever. Really awesome guy. It's good to see you, Spider. We are currently playing Thimbleweed Park, and uh, we made a lot of good progress on the last stream. This new stream, we're playing a brand new character. We're in some big hotel, and we're trying to have a secret meeting with some investors. But to do so, we have to do a few things. We have to find a disguise so people don't know it's us. We need to photocopy some paperwork so we can give to the investors. And what else do we have to do? Um, oh, check into a hotel room. That's right. So right now we're trying to find a disguise and some other things. Prepare for boarding. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's good to see you, Spider Monkey. Thank you again so much for the raid, dude. We just found an empty hotel room, so we're just kind of checking out what's over here. Hey, it's stationary. This might be some of the paperwork we need to uh, make photocopies. It's hotel stationary. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. Let's take that. This place is so dark. Can we turn this on? Yeah, that helps a little bit. Not much, but helps a little bit. Oh, it's going really good, Spider. I'm so happy it's the weekend. It was a really long week, even though for me it was a four-day work week. It felt like a really long week. So, just so happy it's the weekend. How are things with you, dude? It's turned off. Let's turn it on. I think this is the same music that Kid was listening to downstairs. Are we going to lurk a bit, Janie? I'm going to test out your new controller. Oh, you got a wired one since the other one took a poo. What kind of um, wired controller is it, Janie? Is it like one of the um, first party controllers? I know like Microsoft makes some wired controllers or is it, uh, oh, who is it? There's a bunch of them like Power A makes controllers, Nyko makes controllers. Like what kind of controller is it? And you have a three-day work week? Oh, nice. How come, Spider? Are you taking a little vacation or something? What's going on? Okay, let's go ahead and turn that off real quick. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I Love My Cat. <laughs> I Love My Cat. What a great show. It's tuned to I Love My Cat, a series devoted to the untold stories of crazy cat ladies. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, that would probably be a really popular show, to be honest. Oh, you're camping in Pine Mountain. How cool is that? Hopefully it's not too cold. It's been pretty chilly lately, but hopefully you guys get some great weather. That sounds like a lot of fun, dude. <laughs> it looks like a show you'd watch. All right, let's... Uh, it's now enjoy. showing banana, banana, bananas. The hell is that? Oh, is it snowing there now, Spider? You're going to camp in the snow? I mean, you do you. <laughs> Sounds too cold for me. It's tuned to Banana Banana Bananas, a hidden camera show that leaves banana peels in unexpected places like the toilet. That sounds like a dangerous show. 
So it's an off-brand one? Don't remember it, but you got it off of Amazon. Hopefully it works great, Janie. Excited to hear what you uh, think about the controller. Nice thing about wired controllers, never have to deal with batteries. Because eventually, especially if the batteries are built into it, they do die over time, where it just doesn't hold much of a charge. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's tuned to skiing for cash. I have to know about all these a shows. A game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. I bet that show already exists in Japan. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. <laughs> rich and the soapy? It's tuned to the rich and the soapy. A soap opera that follows a rich and powerful family who really likes baths. <laughs> Poor Tiny. John. All this hate on cold weather. That's the thing about when you le live in an area that has like pretty moderate temperatures, you become a big wuss. So if it gets above 80 degrees or if it gets below 50, we're dying. We just can't handle extremes anymore. It's now showing hospital hijinks. There's a lot of channels in this hotel. It's tuned to hospital hijinks. A drama about a T-Rex who becomes a doctor. Sadly, they don't have the budget to show the T-Rex. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a show about a T-Rex, but they don't actually show it. So what the hell does they, what do they show? What's that? What's actually happening? I turned it off. Okay, that was all the channels. <laughs> Weakling babies. <laughs> Another landscape? I'd rather look out the window. Oh, you're gonna take a nap first? That sounds good too, Janie. It's getting dark out there now. Okay, what else am I missing in here? There's gotta be something we can interact with. Looks like the other painting. Oh, there's a phone book here. So if we do need to use a phone, at least we got some numbers to call. I just don't know who I need to call yet, but we got it. An unmade bed. If I go to sleep, I'll never finish my to-do list. <laughs> That's right, Janie. Be careful with that nap. Oh, you guys stream for a few hours and you finish one of the DLCs for Borderlands 3? That's awesome. Do you guys have all the DLCs, like that big collector's edition, or you just got them separately? So we can pretty much check out every room, but I'm just looking for anything unique right now. Um, I probably have to pick up all these stationaries. Because we do need a bunch of paper. Um, oops, didn't mean to close that. So we can make photocopies. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, so that, that's my guess, is we're just supposed to pick up all the pieces of paper right now. Check this out. Kind of hard to tell, but there's a big coffee pot right here. I already had my coffee for the day. I'm good. Yeah, all these rooms are pretty much supposed to be identical, except they didn't make the beds on any of these doors, which is or rooms, which is interesting. And why is there a TV in the hallway? I don't understand that either. I'm going so quick, I think I might have missed a door. So you got the collector's edition yourself, Janie? And uh, you got it for him for Christmas. Nice, you guys both have all the DLC. I keep clicking the wrong button to go in there. I did miss this one. I thought I might have missed a door. It just because it wants to be in the hallway, right? Let him have his hopes and dreams. Okay, we did this one. Okay, I think I might have gotten... Oh, no, there's one. Okay, I think that's probably all the pieces of paper here. There's one more room right here in the corner. I mean, going pretty quick, hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I'm pretty sure we only needed the piece of paper. So now that we have all these, can I combine them together? It doesn't work with that. No? Hmm. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with a hotel's letterhead. Yeah, I don't know if I can combine them anyway. We have a bunch of them, though. We have nine. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the oh, I only factory needed four into a pages. toy factory. I only have the original. I need a copy to give to the investors. Well, that's good. I didn't realize I only needed four. <laughs> I didn't have to grab all nine. So we are on floor nine, I think. No, we're on 10. Let's check 11. I don't think I've looked at 11 yet. Let's see. And let's see, Nate, you were saying it started to suck because it snowed around 10.30 p.m. last night and yourself and most of your coworkers were all working till midnight to do inventory. 
So by the time you left, it was a bit hard to drive, but now you're happy because we have a foot of snow last you checked. So does that mean, Nate, that if will you not have to go into work next time if the snow stays at that level? Will that be a snow day? And Cool Ace, I'm so jealous to get to play this for the first time. This is one of my favorite games. Cool Ace, I'm really digging this game so far. Um, we played it quite a bit on Thursday and I'm just falling in love. The characters, the art style, just everything. I know there's a lot of games, Cool Ace. I kind of wish I could go back in time and sort of do like a Men in Black memory wipe so I can experience it all again for the first time. Okay, I think we got all the papers, so maybe I can try to give these to the guy to do a photocopy now. Let's go back to the lobby. Uh, so it has to get really hazardous, Nate, before that happens. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to try to hand this guy the papers. I'm not sure how that works. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. Let's use the paper with this guy. Oh, I don't think I can actually do that. Oh, you have to do give. That's right. I always forget the give uh, command. He's reporting my every move back to Chuck. I don't want to let him know what I'm up to. Ah, we need the disguise before we can do that. Okay. Yes, Breath of the Wild would be a good one to experience again. All the Metal Gear games, good choices. Yeah, and sometimes it doesn't matter how bad it is there, Nate. It's also at your house. <laughs> if you can't leave, what are you going to do? Um, all right, so how are we going to get the glasses from this guy? We have to somehow... I think we have to give him whatever's the newest hip glasses to get his glasses from him. The only thing Thank I've you. seen your damage? like that is this glass right here, but I can't pick it up. Let me try talking to him again. If you don't have the latest and greatest for me, I don't have the time for you. I haven't seen don't you just Spirit of the, the North music? yet. No, what, what kind of game is that? No, so I can't do anything. I can't even talk to him. Um, hey, dude, what's your damage? I have to give him something immediately. I have a pillow bear. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. There we go. Who, what do you want to trade? I need your glasses. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh. <laughs> Take the glasses then. I love Quick, it. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Ew. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, or dweeb dude, or gnarlicious, or I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. I give up. Sweet! Your ace. Later, dude. Ew, look at chewed sticky bubblegum. It's gross, pre-chewed gum. If I'm not careful, it will stick everything in my inventory together. Oh, that's a hint, isn't it? We probably do have to do that for some reason. Okay, so let's uh, put Nobody on the disguise. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Can we take the boombox? It only plays that one song, and I've already heard enough of that. <laughs> no, we don't need that. <laughs> That's too much. Oh, no, Tiny. They didn't clean up your streets, so everything's still hard to get around. So, Phantasma, you play as a fox, and there's no dialogue, and it's about a fox trying to fix the land that they are a spirit guardian of. And it's got a good soundtrack, and it's a puzzle game? I'll have to check that out. Spirit of the North. How old is it? I wonder if I've seen it in any Humble Bundles or anything. That's kind of one of the nicest things, is I have so many games, including some I haven't actually redeemed, that I hear about a cool game, and I'm like, that sounds familiar. Oh, I have it. <laughs> I don't think I have that one, but... Okay, so now I can probably give him the paper to photocopy. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? Okay, this prospectus document. <laughs> this toy's butt. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. 
There we go. Now we're making progress. One task done. Now I should check into a room to prepare for the meeting. Ah, so it is a PS5 game already. It was only like 20 bucks. Sweet. I'll have to look into that. Thanks. Yeah, a pillow belly sounds kind of nice. Yeah, it's, so it's a reversible thing. It's a stuffed animal, but you can also like pull it inside out and then it's a bear. Uh, it's a bear. Wait. Pillow and a bear. Yeah. Just switches back and forth. That's what I meant to say. So now I can actually talk to him. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in and the get a hotel room. Dimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? It's not a super long game, but it is a sweet one. I gotta check that out. <laughs> I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful library, or uh, lobby. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Is Pillow Pet basically the same thing where it's a reversible pillow? That, that sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> we are Emilio Estevez. Ah, uh, Robert Palmer. That's from um, Twin Peaks, I think. George Michael. Let's try this. Robert Palmer. <laughs> of course, Mr. Palmer. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the ninth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. Sweet. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Palmer. Oh, good. Well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with That sounds like surveillance. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends, Abu, <laughs> back home. Bad. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I kind of want to go to the 10th floor now. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so we should probably check out our room. Um, there's our key card, room 909. It's a copy of my dazzling prospectus. It's the key card for my room. All right, let's do this. And then we probably have to call the people. I don't know who they are, though. Maybe when we get to that point, he'll tell us the name so we can look at the phone book and know who to call. I love the elevator music they give you too. So nice and cozy, Jumi, right? Okay, 909 is probably on this corner right here. Here we go. So let's use our key card there. Oh, phone's ringing already. What the heck? Are they checking to make sure we got here okay? Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. I want to hear the other side. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. <laughs> this is terrible. Look at this. They have a giant VHS recording camera aimed right at the bed for people staying in the hotel. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. Yeah, there's no problems with that at all. Let's um let's put this chewed up sticky gum on there. Would that work? Is that gonna be enough to block it? <laughs> yeah, kind of, Nate, right? It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. Okay, so we don't we haven't blocked it yet. But we did put the gum on there. So maybe now I can use a piece of paper here to block it. Ooh, there we go. Hmm. That's not right. It's gone blank. He was trying to watch us from there. There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel tron. There we go, sir Abu. Huh. Some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose Abu of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help, Abu. Oh, come on. I thought I figured something out. Hmm. 
Oh. Wait a second. Hmm. So what I think we need to do is either reroute that video so it's getting like feed from something else or maybe take a picture of this room and then put it on a piece of paper so it looks like it's filming the room but there's nothing going on, you know? Let's see, and Tiny, you think the 8 p.m. shifts and insane stress from the past week are catching up to me? Oh, you take care, Tiny. Yeah, this week has just been something else, at least for me too. So like, I totally understand just unwind, relax, do what you gotta do to kind of check out for a little bit and recover, you know? And Tajay, so uh, go get a photo of the room. You don't need to take a photo when there's already demo. Oh, that's true, I forgot about that, Tajay. I think it was floor 10 or 11, there was those, um, but yeah, pictures of what the room is supposed to look like, right? Uh-oh, what's going on? We always get these ominous things. Are you happy now? I've done everything you asked. What is happening? Who's he talking to? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's somebody watching everything. It's really interesting. And how's it going, Tajay? It's good to see you, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're done with your peekaboo. I think it was on the floor right above this. Oops, wrong button. We're on nine. It's 10 or 11, maybe it's 11. Oops, wrong button. Mm, ah, it must've been 10. So close, so close. Okay, so we have a standard room and deluxe. I'm pretty sure we have a standard room. So let's pick that one up. There we go. I mean, we might as well grab them both just in case. Couldn't hurt. Let's see, you saying it was ominous reminds me of, uh, oh, this is from Resident Evil. To be ominous, ominous? To be obvious. Oh, when I was just trying to think of... <laughs> English is hard, right? I couldn't think of the word honest. Come on. To be obvious... Ominous? Obvious? <laughs> just brain wasn't working that day. And I had just started the stream. It's not like I was exhausted yet or anything. <laughs> I mean, that works too. You know, to be ominous... <laughs> then I just say something <laughs> very ominously. All right, let's uh, go ahead and use the card here. I I'm assuming I have to do that every time. Okay, here is the standard room. Luckily, the gum is still there. So we're going to use this picture on the gum. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. Good, good. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. I love Better the... give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. The puzzles in this game, they're great. Okay, do we know who they are? It just says call investors. It's my dazzling prospectus for the investors about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. At least now I have a copy in case something happens to this one. It's a copy of my dazzling prospectus. So I can get information about it, but I still don't know who I'm calling. Maybe we just need to look at the phone. <laughs> Is there going to be somebody named Investors? You can investors? Come up to my room now. I'm ready. Oh, never mind. I don't have to look at the phone book. He knows the number. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. So who is this? Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? What the hell? That's Franklin not good. Franklin was never seen again. What just happened? I was asked that... the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. Haunting? That's an interesting story. So if he's haunting, then he got killed. Is that right? 
Otherwise, you wouldn't be a ghost haunting if he's a ghost. He got zippity zapped. <laughs> this fountain is crazy. So Franklin's dead? So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Okay. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're still working on it. Have there been any obstruction arenas to your investigation? Oh no, not what you too. What do you think? Enough said. <laughs> Is everyone to start using areno? But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. I like this character that we are. I like this, uh, she's kind of sassy, but always to the point, you know? What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. <laughs> we'll just blame the signals, Arena. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Okay, hopefully we can get to the room. We have the room key. Do I need to talk to him? Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel aboo in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I love it when he screws up his words. He wants to be a boo when he's the hotel guy, but he might throw a Reno in there because he's actually that guy too. Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? No, oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying Areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever. I love how he thinks that's enough to totally convince people he's a different person. Just a little bit of a different speech, you know, quirk. Even though his voice sounds the same, he looks exactly the same. That's the only difference. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. <laughs> what room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Robert Palmer. Oh, that's Sounds cool. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the ninth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be a boo of service? We got something. <laughs> a tiny boo. <laughs> a funny thing, Abu. I love it. A tiny thing, Areno. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Uh-oh. Definitely not, Abu. Food poisoning? Why'd you bring it up? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Did they mention how much time had passed before that? <laughs> yeah, you're lucky you have the A there, so it just works out. Phantasma, Abu. But yeah, it'd be tiny, Abu. The doors are closed. Wait, what was the other one? There was Tiny Abu, Tiny Areno, or uh, what was the other person's? Ahu. I think it was Tiny Ahu. You know there's going to be another one. We'll probably see him as somebody else with a whole new one. Okay, so we're going to floor nine again. Didn't we have another card though that we got from the body I thought because this is the one we just got from the hotel manager Franklin I thought that we had another one I've got so many items <laughs> it's hard to keep track hey there's a piece of dust maybe not wait can I switch to the other character I can't okay I guess we're just going to floor nine now then but I thought we got a room card from the dead body that was in the river. Maybe it was him. But then why did that guy give me a card, you know? 
I need to stay focused and solve this murder oh, here it so is. I can do what I need to do. So we do have it. Okay, this is for 406. So we got to get him back there too. We'll check them both out. But first, I'm going to check that other one out. Oh, there's a piece of dust. Got to be sure we grab all the dust. Okay, let's check out this room first. What do we have here? The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. <laughs> and it is not. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. Are we supposed to pick it up? I'm not touching that. I was going to say, could we get fingerprints off of gum? I don't know. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. What else? Did, oh, well, he did touch some stuff. He touched the phone. Um, didn't we have like a fingerprint kit? Here we go. Could we use the fingerprint kit on the phone? I don't want to waste the powder on that. I need to dust the murder weapon. Okay, we can only dust the one thing. All right. Hmm. Oh, there's a sign in here. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. <laughs> That's clever. I can't see anything. These things never work. She looks like she's way too short to even use that hole right there. She'd need like a stool or something. Oh, what's going on? He did die. What was all that about? Oh, Why no. couldn't they see me? I'm dead. Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. Or Franklin. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Wait, almost dead. You? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? This looks Don't cool. Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay, everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? That makes sense. That's why we couldn't get By the into way, the your penthouse. your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. Hmm. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. Yeah, I don't know anything about what happened to Chuck. That's new. Ah, now we can switch between these two. We can't switch to the other character, though. That's interesting. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. <laughs> Look at this. We have a ghostly to-do list now. Oh, I love it. Nate, good luck assembling that new uh, monitor desk mount. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are you mounting it to the side or back of your desk? Or do you have like a hole specifically for like mounting as well? Yeah, I guess because he's, he says he's like in the almost dead, but I guess that's just because his ghost has not moved on to the next world. So he's haunting for a bit. Yeah, what is he going to do? Kill me again? Okay, so we have to try to talk to Dolores, uh, visit Chuck's tomb to get closure, scare one person at the drinking fountain. That should be easy. <laughs> scare another person at the drinking fountain and escape to the afterlife. Poor guy. Oh, you might be drilling a hole to mount it. Oh, that's exciting. But I'm going to see if the clamp works first. On my desk, I was pretty fortunate. It actually has three holes for cable routing and like a uh, mounting stuff. So I have all three of my monitors mounted and I got wires going up and down all three of them. That tickles. Also surprisingly easy. And uh, can we haunt her? Oh, look at this. I didn't realize this. Look at all the different um, verbs we have now. Wail, zap, chill, moan, splash, despair, blow on. 
Oh, you can't blow on people. Blue was never my favorite color. Ooh. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Doesn't seem to have any effect, but you know, you can do it. The elevator isn't on this floor. An electrical elevator button. Maybe I've got some useful special power I can use here. Ah, so we can... Can't press the button because we're a ghost, but we can zap it. And since it's electrical, maybe it'll work. Nice. There we go. Okay, so we can move around a bit. <laughs> Despair is my go-to verb. Aw, oh, Clara. You ought to be doing your job. Scaring someone in the lobby instead of talking to me. You don't want to make Xavier mad. I'm trying to get to the lobby. You ought to be doing your job. You don't want to make... Okay, can't really talk to her anymore. Okay, let's zap this. Go to the lobby. <laughs> That's so cool. Shut up, Clara. And <laughs> Nate's just waiting for the hoardiness to appear, right? Relentless is, I'm above this. I'm above that. Too easy. It's a low ball. Okay, is anybody going to use this? Hey. Oh, he was just using it. Okay, so our to do list was to scare someone at the drinking fountain. So, I guess we would do splash. Ah! Hey, there we go. Huh, get real. That's totally not the greatest. What's going on here, Abu? I better jet out of here. Oh, it's just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Not oh, bad. It's coming. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. I have to get back to work now. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. Look at that. He's making that thing spin around so fast. Nobody can even attempt to go through now, there. Now, deep breath. Okay, so do I have to wait for this person to come here too? Oh, splash. I'm ready for it. I don't know if he's just going to walk over and do it or not. <laughs> Nobody wants to blow on the low ball. <laughs> but it's... The effect would be better if someone was using it. I mean, he's like the only Chuck other person not here, perfect. right? And he's not coming there. Um, could we chill him? No. The effect would be better if ah. someone was using it. We can freeze the drinking fountain. Oh, I do too. That was such a cool character, wasn't it, Relentless? He, yeah, he did have the ability to blow on things. That's right. Uh, oh, maybe we can do something to the bell. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. That doesn't use electricity. Oh, we can zap the computer. Oh, now we need a password. Hmm. When that kid is gone, we can't do anything with him. It's been lipstick to death. We probably need to do something with the glass. Um, we freeze it? No reaction, huh? Weird. There's no water to splash there. We knock it over? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how to get this guy to drink. Luckily, the freezing only lasted a brief moment. It seems like it's already back to normal. A good place to get a drink. I figure maybe we have to make the manager thirsty. Oh no, I know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to scare our other character, aren't we? So we can take um, Reyes down. Is it Reyes or Ray? I always get them mixed up. I think we're supposed to take her downstairs, force her to drink water, and then scare her. Oops. I always do that. Although there's a ghost on elevator duty, are they going to stop us? 
Oh, no, they're just supposed to stop us from going to the penthouse. That was a Georgie Relentless. Um, I think Andy just got home from getting groceries. So, of course, Georgie's going to make a lot of noise. Luckily, he's been very quiet the entire time Andy's been gone. Sometimes when Andy's, or one of us is gone, the dogs just kind of freak out. Okay, so let's drink. Or I guess use. And I need a swish. How do I change characters now? Here we go. Oh no, it won't let me. <laughs> That's no easy. Gotta be careful, you could kill yourself from drinking too much. Okay, how does this work? I can't actually splash it at the same time I'm drinking. The only explanation for that is the plumbing here is terrible. I don't believe in ghosts, unlike certain other agents. Sorry, that's not the reaction you wanted, is it? <laughs> what I meant to say was... <laughs> oh my, I'm so shocked and startled. Please save me from myself. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking <laughs> fountain is having a little moment. Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. I think that counted. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. That's great. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. I thought I was screwed because she wasn't scared, but then she just faked it for us. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost, average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? This guy's time? a jerk. All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. Time to revolt is what that sounds like. Okay, what else do we have to do? Try to talk to Dolores. Maybe a phone call. Um, maybe we can use electricity on a phone or something. Visit Chuck's tomb to get closure and escape to the afterlife. Maybe we can leave the hotel now. I'm not sure. Oh, we can actually change to all the different characters, too. Let's do a quick save. This game's so funny. I know, I love how emotionless that she was. Um, yeah, let's see if we can just leave. What? Why can't I leave? Uh-oh. I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. We gotta do something about him. Well, can we zap the phone and try to call someone? We can. Okay, we need a phone book. Let's um The elevator isn't on the elevator isn't on this floor. I guess we'll go upstairs and check out a phone book and then try to zap the phone and call Dolores. That might accomplish that goal. <laughs> that elevator's almost realistically slow. Oh wait, before we do that. There's some locked doors we couldn't go into. Like right up here? We've never been to the um, ballroom floor. It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Never mind, I guess it's not time. <laughs> I was just thinking, hey, we're a ghost. We can just march right in there. All right, we'll go in this way. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Okay, so Xavier's a jerk, but you're a jerk too. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter which floor we go to. We can probably use any phone, but I'll just go to nine because that's was our room. Oh man, Relentless. That was a creepy movie. You talking about the original one from like Thailand or something? I think they made a an American remake with Jessica Alba? Is that right? Um, I remember liking the original a lot. I don't remember if the remake was terrible. I'm pretty sure I saw it, but I do remember the original was probably better, as they often are. Okay, let's zap this guy. Oh, I look at the phone first. My hand just passed through the pages. I can't open it. Oh no. Oh, wait. You can blow it open. Did that work? My hand just passed through the pages. Oh, crap. I can't open it. Um, 
We probably can't zap it. It's not electrical. That doesn't use electricity. Hmm. We chill the book. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. <laughs> There's no water to splash there. Hmm. I don't know how we can do anything with this phone book. We might have to find. Oh, wait, I could do it with a different character, can't I? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I guess it's okay to now look it I up as someone else. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Well, back to work, Abu. Wait, what guest is he talking about? Is there another guest here? I don't know. I thought the only guest here died. Yeah, I... You know, I go back and forth between a few movies, Relentless, but I still think my favorite movie out of all those big Asian horror movies that came out around that time is um, Shudder. I, th I still think that's my favorite. This ghost looks so sad. I mean, she's kind of just stuck in this position. She can't do anything else. We do have the room key to get in here. I have so many inventory items. I bet a lot of them are very useless. Okay, so let's check out the phone book. Um, crap, it's Dolores. What is her last name again? You know, it seems like it does it by first name. So if I just look up, which is weird, it should be by last name, but... If I look up D-E-L, I think we'll find her. No, I see Delilah. I don't see any Dolores. Oh, what was their last name? Maybe I have it wrong. Do I have any information about that? It's the name of the hotel. <laughs> Why can't I think of it? I say maybe I have some kind of information about it, but oh, how about the map? Edmund. Okay, so Edmund. Let me check that out. Edison, Eddie. Why are some of these grayed out and some of them are black? I'm not sure what that means. Edmund Trant. No, I'm not. I don't see. It. Maybe she's not listed in the phone book directly. Crap. What were the other characters' names? There was Edmund and. Hmm. Crap. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Maybe that's not what I'm really supposed to do. I feel like I'm really reaching for some of these solutions. Did you see a Finnish name in there? Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, just for the heck of it, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in. Maybe. Oh, good, we did. I want to check out that other room with this character. It was on floor four. I, I wonder think. what the guest is up to now. I can see you looking at me. I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. This is Essential Abu Hotel Abu Business Abu, isn't it? Ah, I wanted to see what he was looking at. It didn't let me. Maybe the ghost can do that. Check it out while he's not looking. Ooh, when you got multiple characters, it's crazy how many active things you have going on at once. 406 should be right here. Let's use this card. There's a toy bear. Why is there a bear in here? And a passport. So this is from the murder victim. Huh, it's a passport. And we'll find out who it was. Oh, I want to pick up. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot the murder victim was like from Germany. The label says pillow bear. I wonder how it got here. Why did the victim have a pillow bear? You know what would be nice if we could look at the video 
from this room, see what he was doing. Okay, I don't think there's anything else out of the ordinary, really. Otherwise, all these rooms are exactly the same. So I think we can get out of here. I can't see anything. These things never work. Hmm. So, let me check our to-do list again. Oh, I don't have one as him. Only she has the to-do list? Wait, where is it? Am I going crazy? <laughs> I thought he had that one too. Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no. Oh, I won't bore She myself. has both notebooks. I forget giving a notebook to her. Here we go. Okay, so we gotta find the murder weapon. Well, we're in the room, but no murder weapon. He got zapped. That's all I know. Um Get a face tron report. We do have the ID now. We just got that. And we do have kind of a blood swab, but we use tissue paper and it's not really counting it. So I'm not sure what we do with that. We still have to talk to Dolores, talk to Ransom the Clown and find mushrooms in the sewer. Yeah, just suspicious item with blood on it. <laughs> Haven't found that really. We did get blood off the body though. Right here. Am I supposed to combine this with an item maybe? To like get a proper sample? I'm not sure, because it didn't check it off when we got this. It's soaked with a dead body's blood. What a mess. Like I don't think we I don't use... want to waste the powder on that. Yeah, you can't use a I fingerprint need to dust kit, obviously. The murder weapon. So we have a couple things we can do right now. We can um explore more of the town, the outskirts with her. Or we can try to do more with the ghost. I'm not sure which we're really meant to do first. I also kind of want the ghost to see if he can look at that TV when he's messing with it. Oops, I meant to go out. So maybe we'll do that real quick. <laughs> it takes a while to get everybody where you want them to go. The elevator isn't on this floor. He should just be able to float down. Why does he need the elevator? Probably just so you can have this interaction right here. Luckily, they don't make me actually click zap every time I want to use it. If it's obvious what you are trying to do, it'll just do it for you. It's the little things that count. Okay, so he's going to come over here and look at the computer and then I'm gonna try to look at it real quick when he does I wonder what the guest is up to now right now 1209 what's going on in 1209 why are you spying on this guy maybe we should go check that out first wait which floor is that on oh this one I'm like, is there a floor one? There is no floor one. Twelve. Looks like he's stoned and spacing out. Kind of. He's just chilling there with the TV on. Just, uh, what am I doing here? Is it somebody irrelevant? I don't know. Oh, I just got an achievement. Hotel tourist. I probably got an achievement for using the elevator 50 times. Looks like the other paint someone is using this bed in an attempt to relax. <laughs> an attempt to relax. Should I be scaring this guy? We still have to try to talk to Dolores, visit Chuck's tomb, and escape to the afterlife. We can splash in the toilet. That's a bit strange. <laughs> Just to try to scare this guy. Um... We could freeze the toilet. Again? Maybe that's what it does normally. Oh yeah, it's totally normal, dude. Um, again? Maybe that's what it does normally. Okay, we can't do anything else there. 
It's blowing him. What was that? <laughs> He's freaking the hell out. Um, oh. Ooh. Can we zap him? No, we can zap his phone. No. Maybe we need to zap his television while he's watching it. Or the radio. I turned it off. What on earth is all that? Did his head just explode? That poor man. I've got to help a boo him. Hello, Acme Maintenance. It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. Uh oh. We've got an emergency Abu right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? You're supposed to be a 24 hour service arito Abu. Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? You should go do it yourself. Huh. Well, maybe I imagined it. What was that? Okay, so now that we did all that, oh, that didn't actually change anything. I thought maybe he was going to go and we could check out his computer while he's gone. But that didn't happen. Am I supposed to spook him more? Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. That poor man. I've I think it just to repeats. Trying to help a boo him. Hello, Acme Maintenance. It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu right now. What do you mean you're not available tonight, Abu? You're supposed to be a 24-hour service arena. Maybe it's Abu. a timing thing. Where will I find someone else, Abu, at this hour? Huh. Well, maybe I imagined it. Acme Maintenance. So maybe we have to do something with that place first. Okay, we should probably explore the town a bit more. I'm not sure what else we can do with the ghost right now. Yeah, it could be a bidet. That's true. That's a very powerful bidet. Honestly, I don't know how common bidets are everywhere in the world. I wonder if the majority of people use a, a toilet without one or if most people use a bidet. Like, just globally, you know? Okay, let's go to the old circuit, see if we can talk to Ransom. This Ransom doll's being hung right here. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. Now remember, when we were playing as Ransom earlier, that was like a flashback a long time ago. Now this is the future where Ransom's been kind of haunting this place for a long time. He's not dead, but he's cursed. He can't take off any of his makeup. <laughs> I mean, are you surprised, Relentless? It looks like a circus clown horn. Oh, could we take that? I don't want to pick that up. Did I click on the right thing? I don't want to pick that up. Yeah, I did. Up. Okay, we can't take the corn. We can probably use it, though. Does that bring the clown? Keep your panties on. I'm coming. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. I love this guy. He's great. He's a... Much more foul, crusty the clown, pretty much. Ransom the clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez, no foreplay, Red? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the Mansion Mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. Mansion Mansion? What weird stuff do you know about at the Mansion? You want to find out about the Mansion Mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thank <laughs> I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my ex-wife took me for everything I had. Oof. We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my creepy clown face and Paul Sean for abusive name-calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small-town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. 
<laughs> At least he's positive. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Mm -hmm. Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. We tried. We tried, and then he got killed. He got zapped. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than <laughs> Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little <laughs> merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. We still have that weird problem where every once in a while, one line of dialogue only comes in through like the left speaker. It's so strange. It gets quiet, and then the problem goes away the next time. I don't know. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? Oof. We were going to make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. That's who we were supposed to meet in secret in the hotel. Ransom. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. This creepy ass clown thing appears. <laughs> awesome. So there's a padlock here. He said he, we can't get in, but we can probably break that, is my guess, and sneak in there. Although, I don't have anything to do that right now. Tickets, 25 cents. Tickets for what? <laughs> I don't think we can still go in there. Okay, we can't get too much more out of the clown right now. Let's check out the radio station. There's all kinds of places to visit. Hey, scum. We heard this on the radio earlier. Special announcement. Pizza meeting tonight. Find Chet for the secret code. And now back to our special hostile takeover what song. What is a pizza meeting? And I want one. Ridiculous. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. <laughs> we actually tried to steal the lava lamp. There's a thick layer of dust on it, and a message. No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. See this. <laughs> That's one way to keep people from stealing stuff. Just glue everything down. Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue. Or something sticky. I don't want to know more. <laughs> Speaking of glue, did you guys hear this happened like a week or two ago? about that woman that ran out of her um, hair product, you know, and it was she was using some got to be brand, I think, of like styling glue. And then she used Gorilla Glue as a replacement, thinking that she would be able to just wash it out. But she didn't just like put it on the ends. She like really put it into her scalp. It's like <laughs> Gorilla Glue's no joke. That thing will mess you up. I've used Gorilla Glue before and just gotten like a little bit on my fingers and I'm like, oh God, no, no. And it doesn't wash off. Like my, it's like on my skin until my skin basically comes off for a little bit. It's uh, it's something else, but man. And what was she thinking? Well, she, she wasn't thinking. And how terrifying. Like I, I did hear it had a good ending. Um, I think she went to a doctor and got some special wash done and they were able to like save her scalp. But at that point, like I wouldn't be so worried about her hair. I'd be worried about her skin and if they can even fix that at all, if she's permanently not going to have hair, but I think she's going to be okay. Yeah. And not like it has a warning on the package to not even touch your skin. Why would you put it in your hair? Yeah. I mean, it's tons of warnings on there. It shows like this is for like wood and metal and glass and all kinds of household projects. I'll put that on your hair. Although, I mean, Elmer's glue, that would probably work as gel, and you could wash it out. But it's meant to be able to be washed out with water, not Gorilla Glue. Looks like the radio station is on the air. Gorilla Glue is meant to be a permanent glue. Is she trying to sue them? Okay, that's just stupid. That's insane. It's locked and bolted from the inside. 
It is kind of funny though. I guess there is another brand. This this had nothing to do with it, but there is another brand of hair gel called like Gorilla Snot, I guess. But I don't see how you would ever make that um, confusion and I don't think she did. I think she kind of confessed it. She knew it was glue, but she thought it would just wash out. What a big lever. It's a mixing board, but I can't see the controls from here. It's a record. So my guess is we're going to have to change something on the radio or do an announcement later to our advantage. I don't know what yet, though. It's a turntable. Impressive mic. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Hmm. It's a music poster. Yeah, we can't get in here at all, except it looks like the glass is almost broken. I don't know what that's all about. I guess I don't really have any way to get her attention right now, do I? I think we'll have to come back to this area. Anything over on this side? It says Phonetron 3000 for oh. when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Hmm. We might be able to mess with this to gain access into there. There's nothing to use here, except maybe that tube. Ah, could we take this? Will that break it? It's stuck. Uh oh. <laughs> we might need a tool or something for that. Well, could we go up to this radio tower? There, there we go. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, we need the other character to go up there. Well, I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Maybe we can get him over there. I do kind of wish this game had the option to have both characters move in unison. Oops. And then you could separate them if you wanted to for a puzzle. But like by default, they would follow each other, you know? Otherwise, yeah, you kind of have to play through certain areas twice just to get them in the same place. In case you have uh, an item on one character but not the other. Okay, so let's go to that radio station. Oh, we can just go directly to the radio tower. That's pretty nice. No way am I climbing that. Come on. I'm afraid of heights. He's also afraid of we heights. We should split up. <laughs> that was such a great scene. Relentless. I wonder if we have a um, clip of that. We probably do. You know, I like both these characters, but I think I like Ray a bit more. I've just been kind of going everywhere with her, but maybe we should do more stuff as Ray is. Let's check out the abandoned factory. Oh, I see a piece of dust. Of course, we're going to get that. There doesn't seem to be anything to interact with here. Oh, here we go. The future used to be a wonderful thing. Foreclosed by order of safely first savings. And in small print, for inquiries, contact Safely First Savings, probate executor of this property. So the bank owns this place now, basically. Looks dangerous. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. It's a locked gate. So we're going to have to find some way to unlock this first. I can't see much from here. Anything over here? Ah, back to the road. Okay, so we can't do anything there yet. Trailhead. What's over here? There's a puddle. Uh oh. The hell? Oh, is this the pizza meeting she was talking about? <laughs> it's a puddle full of muddy water. We should probably follow him. Oh, that doesn't sound good. 
We're gonna get killed. Let's... Oh no, it won't let me save it. Crap, I should probably get out of here. It's a bush with red berries on it. Are these gonna be poisonous? Uh-oh. Ouch! Mama! Ow! Ooh! What is going on? Ouch! The thorns on that bush are razor sharp. I hope I don't bleed out. I was just trying to pick up some berries. What happened? I didn't actually get any berries. Maybe we need a... Um... Okay, we're back to the puddle. Maybe we need some kind of scissors or something to get those berries. Okay, so I have an idea, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. This puddle right here, that pizza dude just ran right through it. I think to find their secret meeting, we're going to have to put some kind of dye or something in here in the puddle. That way they make tracks all the way back to wherever they're going. Um, do we have anything like that yet? We do have bear repellent. Uh oh, I should get him out of there. We're probably going to need bear repellent. I forgot all about the bear repellent. Um, I don't really have anything else I might be able to use as die. Oh, we can play as ransom here too. All right, we'll come back to that. There's one other place we can go, and that's to where Dolores is. So let's check out the mansion. If we can even get in here. Hey, it just opened for us. Looks like a really big tube. Nothing in there. 5858. Where have I heard that address before? Oh, we can also interact with the gas can and wood here. It's very dry firewood. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. And what, like we're going to burn this place down? Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. <laughs> Are you kids doing drugs in here? <laughs> Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Oh, wait, I want to ask something else. <laughs> That wasn't the most important thing. I was just doing it. I fun. really can't talk right now. Still dealing with family issues. Maybe you can come back later. Okay, then. I'll be back. Wait, but we're a federal agent. You can't just rush us off like that. Okay. I guess we can't do anything here yet. Oh, wait, was there anything on this side? Just leaves. Okay, I think... We've pretty much looked at every... Although this circus looks like it has two entrances, doesn't it? Can we check out the other one? I don't know why there's two circles here. There must be another way in. Okay, so we've been there. Oh, it's just which side do you want to enter from? Okay. I wonder, do we get any different options when we come here as him instead of... Uh, Ray. It's a rusty old padlock. He doesn't and actually it's come locked. Out. It says no feds without a warrant. <laughs> we need a warrant. Okay, well, just oh look at all these characters we have. Let's um let's do some stuff as ransom. We haven't actually played as ransom since everything went bad for him. Which that was so sad. Everything went to complete crap all at once. So what is his to-do list? Get everyone in town to hate me. Done! <laughs> Feed little beeper. Get a package at the post office. Try removing his makeup again. Yeah, right. Uh, get key to the factory gate. Ah, oh, so he's going to be able to get in there, huh? And collect 58 more specks of dust. Wait, do we have to give him all the specks of dust? I don't think we have 58, but we do have a decent amount. P.S. I hate my life and go beep yourself if you found this note and are reading it. <laughs> Okay, so who's little Beeper? Does he have a pet? Oh, it's probably a mouse in this little hole. Looks like a rat hole. My official ransom the clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash him yet. All right, can we pick it up? Always time to do laundry later. <laughs> I know some people that live like that. Um, can we pick up the rotting food? That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. 
The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. Oh, it's so gross. Maybe we can give that to that rat or mouse. No, thanks. Better leave it where it is. Never mind. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. That's funny. Um, yeah, that lawyer also ditched us as soon as everything was going bad. Hey, there's some cheese in here. Oh, wait. It's my, it's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Let's pick it up. There we go. There's a hamster in the microwave. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Okay, we can give him cheese, right? Lil Beeper is lactose intolerant. If I give him cheese, then the whole trailer smells like farts. Never mind, we don't give him cheese. That seems so obvious. Of course he's lactose intolerant. That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell, and he's afraid to come back. That's one way to not get evicted, right? Oh, the hit it line. says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000. We haven't actually done this yet. At 4468. What the? F I love that it's there, though. We might use it, but not right now. It's an attempted delivery notice. Oh, what did they try to deliver to us? Package held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. Ooh. I'm not going to search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Well, f you, Georgie, you lazy. <laughs> you, Georgie. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Dingo. How's it Ransom going? the Clown. Too bad the f paint's wearing off. Can we pick up one of these? I glued him to the table so no one could steal him back when I thought they were real gold. Yeah. After 10 years, looks like it worked. <laughs> I remember that. It's been 10 years since that scene. Oh my gosh. I remember there was something behind the poster. But here's a safe. Oh, we took the poster too. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. You destroyed the Disney store and you bought a lot of merch. Ooh, nice. What did you get, Dingo? I'm excited. Um... That was always one of my favorite things when Andy and I would go to Disneyland is the day before, because we would usually stay the night there before so we can start really early. We would go to downtown Disney, get dinner and do a bunch of shopping. One of our favorite things is we used to like to get, they have these certain kinds of artwork. It's like already matted artwork, but really cool drawings and things. And all we have to do is get a frame and we have probably seven or eight of them. We've been kind of collecting them. Not quite, Dingo. It's actually more like, um, what would you call it? Uh, Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. It's very similar to Krusty. Oh, we can just open this now. I don't, good, I forgot the code. It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? We should probably take the joke book. It's a page from my joke book. Why is it not in your joke book? It's a page from my joke book. Come back here. Hey, stop. <laughs> uh oh. It's just trying to pick up the page. It's gone. Damn broken window. Where the hell did that go? It's a Ransom the Clown comic. Issue number one. Let's grab that. Of course, we have to pick up everything we can. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? I don't f I don't f still doesn't work. Nope, still can't do that. Oh, that's right, Tajay. Somebody well, wanted a I wallet. Tried. It was that kind of homeless guy, right? He needed a, a wallet. Okay, so I think we just checked off another thing in our to-do list. <laughs> Try to remove the makeup. Looks like a rat hole. Well, can we use the cheese on the rat hole? You can. 
what is that going to do for us? Hey, there's a piece of dust. Those are easy to miss. Okay, I think we've looked at pretty much everything here. Oh, maybe not the faucet. I miss my housekeeper. We're not actually going to wash these dishes. So you bought some plushes of Lady and the Tramp? Oh, I always liked that Disney movie. You don't... It doesn't get a lot of love now, does it? Uh, you got some two shirts, the three hyenas from Lion King and the three aliens from uh, Toy Story. Some face masks, a snuggly duckling tavern mug from Tangled. Oh, how cool. You got some really cool stuff, Dingo. Nice. Yeah, I do love to get more mugs whenever I go places. But man, we have so many mugs now. It's like... Do I really need any more? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, there's some things on the bed I thought maybe we could pick up. Okay, well, let's go ahead and leave here. Let's explore what else we have. Hey, there's a trampoline here. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. Could we have used it to grab that piece of paper when it was floating around? I need to be higher to jump on it. Oh, wait, can we go from here and then jump down? It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. <laughs> That's not much of a push. I was going to say, which, which side do we want to move it to? I thought maybe over here. Does this work? <laughs> I think it only goes two dif two directions like that. That's too far to jump from here. Okay, so that's an idea. That's too far to jump from here. Maybe either one we can do. How does this work? It's too heavy. Oh, maybe I'm clicking on the wrong side. That might be what I was doing. That's as far to the right as I can move okay, it. Okay, there we I'll go. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. Now let's see if we can do it. You! I'm not going to jump on that without a spotter. Oh. Safety first. Now we need a spotter? Okay, we're not quite ready to do that. Oh, piece of dust. Oh, piece of candy. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. There we go. Now we have something to feed the hamster. Okay, let's grab all these then. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Uh, we don't really have anything to store it yet, so we'll have to find something for that. This game has a lot of areas. It's nice. Oh, I just saw a rat go right now. Let's see, you had to get a replacement mug. Uh, you got a couple of mugs with your ex, and one had the stitch, and the other one had Angel. And I can't use that mug without thinking of him. Totally understandable. I know how that could be. Not like he doesn't occupy my thoughts 24-7. It will get better, but Dingo, it definitely takes time. It's such a bummer. There's no easy, like, let's do this and it'll fix it. No, nope. it just takes a lot of time. Looks Harder. Like Harder when you have things that remind them of you, though, for sure. There's like rat holes everywhere here. We go this way? I can't get there from here. There's another way. Oh, we have to go through that side entrance, don't we? I think it's over this way. Here it is. Looks like a f rat hole. Yeah, this place is just totally infested with rats. It's my empty Rants of the Cloud swear jar. It stays empty now because no one's f here but me and Lil Beeper. Aw, oh, no more money from the swear jar. That was so funny in the last time. Like, can we pick it? There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. No, I want the whole jar so we can use that to put the popcorn in there. 
It's a box with a crank on it. Like a jack in the box? Can we use it? <gasps> it's like a snake in there. That's cool. It's my tube of Coslerex patented anti-itch medicine. Works wonders. We'll probably need that. There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. Hasn't been used in years. Hmm. There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. What a f of a f still doesn't work. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> well, at least I tried. That's not gonna f work. Oh, we're gonna have Besides, to do something with this cannon. Pretty rusty and filled with rat. <laughs> Don't know what we'll do with it, but we'll have to do something with that. What's the point of coming out here? Nothing yet. I wonder if we could take that sh swear jar list. We can look at it. We can't take it. It's the list of all the who swore and paid up. Yeah, it doesn't look like we could take the jar at all. There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Bummer. Okay, we still got to find something to put the popcorn in. There's a lot of popcorn around here. Jeez. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. It's empty. The oh. rats and I cleaned it There's out years ago. There's a popcorn bag ago. right here. Perfect. So you constantly think about him. So you always have to try to keep your mind busy on something else. That's really the best thing to do. Dingo is occupy yourself with other stuff just to keep your mind off of it. So you're waiting for the day where you wake up and don't think about it. And you always look at your phone expecting the next text, but remember it won't be there. Oh, it's so hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's just going to be time. And also, yeah, keeping yourself busy is probably the best thing you can do. Um, and it gets easier when you meet somebody new. Then something else takes over that thought process, you know? So let's pick up the popcorn bag. Now I guess I use the popcorn bag on all well, this popcorn. That's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Do I have to do that on all of them? It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves it. Okay, two. I can count. Am I really going to pick up all this crap? The rats are having more fun at this than I am. <laughs> Not even half full yet. This almost half full. Oh, I'm trying to... Half full now. This is taking too long. I'm trying at this to beat rate, the rat it'll be to 1988 it. before I'm done. This is going to take forever. There's got to be a better way. Okay, I think oh. that might have been all the popcorn. But he didn't say it's full. I don't know if it needs to be full. Oh, now the rats don't have any popcorn. <laughs> oh, and another piece of dust. I don't think there was any popcorn in that side entrance, but we can check it out too. No, nothing in here. All right, well, let's see if we can um, feed our hamster now. Maybe the hamster will be our spotter for the trampoline. Although I don't even know why we would use the trampoline right now. Okay, so let's use popcorn on hamster. That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. Uh, he can eat that much crap in two seconds. Okay, so we do need more. All right. I was wondering, like, why are we filling this thing up? Okay, well, if that's the case, I did see some of these rats coming in here with it. Are we so supposed to catch them? Like right there. Looks like a rat hole. I couldn't actually interact with the rat. Hmm. I was gonna say, could we scare him with this snake? Probably not. There's gotta be somewhere else we can pick up popcorn. They keep getting it from somewhere. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Okay, so we can't go to the midway. Don't! I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. Don't. Okay, gotta do that first. What are we supposed to do with this? There's some lights right here. 
Yeah, Digo, that gets tricky too. When you do have trust issues with somebody, it's hard not to keep those trust issues and throw them on somebody else. Even if they don't deserve you to not trust them yet. It's really hard to kind of like let your guard down a little bit and give someone the chance to screw up. You know, sometimes you kind of hold things too close and then it hurts the relationship overall because that's the most important thing. It's honestly trust in a relationship. Trust and communication are huge, but it's just something you got to do. But it's definitely going to take practice and time and lots of communication. But when it's the right one, they'll be understanding and it'll be easier. We go this way? That's a dead end. Okay. Well, crap. Where am I getting more um, popcorn? Hmm. We do have this cheese. There's a big hunk of cheese here. Maybe I have to take the cheese and take it to where those rats are, and then we can use that to help get more popcorn or something. Let's pick up the cheese. And we'll take it out here where those rats were. There's a rat hole right here. <laughs> Coffee cheese. <laughs> Have you played this game, Coffee? I know you're a big fan of point and click games too. Okay, let's try using the cheese on the hole. You did play this one? It's so good, isn't it? Okay, he's still walking by with the popcorn. Ah, see, he left it for us. There we go. So let's go ahead and pick that up real fast. There's gotta be a better way. Oh, he's kind of like stuck here right now. What's that all about? Oh, is this the same guy that made the Putt-Putt games? I've heard of the Putt-Putt games. I never actually played them myself, but I do know about them. Back when I was really into the 3DO, as like an old console before the PlayStation and stuff, that was one of the games I always saw at the video store, or the rental store, was uh, the Putt-Putt games. I never played them because I wasn't that young, but cool to have educational games for kids. The bag's partially full of popcorn. Okay, it's not completely full yet. Um, crap, I don't think I can pick up that cheese again. Can we? No, I can't actually interact with that cheese. Looks like a rattle. I wonder if another one's gonna drop in. Oh my gosh, Dingo, what are you doing? <laughs> not changing sounds. <laughs> I think we're just going to use this one. Death Metal Dingo, what are you doing? That is eight gift subs you've given in this channel. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Diddy Dippity. I always used to say Diddy Dippity. Not right. Diddy Dippity. <laughs> that was very nice of you, Dingo. Let me drop some tokens for you guys. Oh, were those Putt-Putt games fun? And Putt-Putt Goes to the Moon was your favorite? That's cool. And that's nice that, you know, a talented group that made this game also made a children's game. Usually you'd think that'd be kind of some shovelware kind of thing, you know? Thank you so much, Dingo. I appreciate it. You did not have to do that. Ah, this rat's not going anywhere. What if I leave and come back? Then can I grab my cheese? Oh, whoa, there's a ton of popcorn. Never mind. That's what we needed. It's a full bag of popcorn! Sweet. So they, they basically paid for the cheese with popcorn. I like these rats. These rats are pretty cool. All three of those tokens are almost on top of each other. So if you guys could time it just right, you might get all three of them at once. At least two. At least two. Okay, let's feed our hamster. Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Oh, he's he's a nice guy. He's an angry clown. He's a nice guy. So if we check our to-do list now, we still have to go to the post office, get a key to the factory gate, find the missing joke book page, which we have no idea where that went. It probably went on top of... Oh, you got two right there, Coffee. Nice catch. I think one of them disappeared because I only see that two was caught. So let me drop one more for you guys. And Diddy, I'm just here lurking, but thank you. 
<laughs> I didn't actually know you were in here. Thank you for the lurk, Diddy. Actually, I never call out lurkers, but not by name, but thank you for lurking, everybody. Honestly, that's how I do most of my Twitch viewing is I just like to watch. I'm usually doing something else in the background, so I'll just watch and enjoy. So let's um push it all the way to the other side and see if I can't jump on it there. That's Fingers. as far to the left I can move it. Okay, so I'll have to push it to move it to the right. Is he still gonna say that he needs a spotter? Is my question. You! I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Safety first! There's nobody here. You're not getting a spotter, dude. Unless you can take your hamster with you. I mean, we could try that. <laughs> now that he's eaten, can we pick up our hamster? Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Well, never mind. That's not going to work out. Okay. Well, now that we've fed the hamster, maybe we can actually leave the circus. He did say he doesn't want to leave until after he's fed the hamster. Hey, there we go. Now we can leave. Okay. Wait, can we talk to him? There we go. Hey, face. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you so you don't pin this on me. Just to make some agency arrest quota. The agency doesn't have a quota. We're only interested in the truth. Yeah, well, the truth is the clown didn't do it. Chuck. That's no way to speak of the recently departed. <laughs> he was a rich that didn't give a about anyone but himself. Sounds familiar. Oh, off, or I'm not going to help you find the killer. Ever seen a clown naked? Oh, no. You better shut up, or I'll arrest you for indecency. Doesn't Agent Ray ever get on your nerves? If you're trying to play psychological games on me, don't waste your time. We've actually never tried to make the characters talk to each other. I should do that more often. Off, I'm bored now. Okay, let's see if we can go to the post office. Uh, oh crap, which street is it on? There's only really two streets you have to worry about. Let's see here. There's the nickel place. They do say all kinds of things. Yeah, I, I'm sure you don't really need to do it so much for um, story progression or anything. It's just more fun. Get some flavor text in there. And the writing in this game is always so good. Okay, so let's talk to this guy when he comes back around. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. <laughs> you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? There we go. I'm here to pick up my package. Hey, George, you lazy I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. What do we get? What do we get? And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all <laughs> outgoing mail? Well, you. <laughs> nice. He would know, right? Oh, that's great. What can I do for you, Chuckles? How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hmm? Hey, we don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you going to do about it? Shoot me? Job related stress <laughs> is no laughing matter for us high level government agents. That's terrible. Talking about going postal when you kill everybody. What are you going to do? Shoot me? <laughs> you think mailmen are high level government agents? Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. <laughs> Except worse, you never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. Ransom. Why are mailmen so great then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos, people would starve. I hold people's lives in my hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes, incarnate. 
ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're f nuts, George. <laughs> hey, he's sticking up for himself. I like that. Got any more of those awful jokes? Paul, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? No, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> unstamped doesn't go through the mail. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that was the point. Want some more postal humor, delivery dweeb? What's the best thing about being a postman? Uh, serving your country. Wrong. The answer is nothing, because your job is dog Count to ten, Georgie. Go to your happy place. <laughs> this guy's gonna kill us. I got another joke, Parcel Porker. What do your wife and the average post office customer have in common? Ransom, you are treading on wafer thin ice, oh. bucko. You've never satisfied either one of them. Ransom, I suggest you leave for a while. Hmm? I would hate for you to become another statistic. Uh oh. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Whatever, postal nerd. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, let's uh, open up our package. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Okay, so we got a wallet. Sweet. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. And I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. And a Pez dispenser kind of thing, too. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy barfer. Can it's we supposed some? to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead. Well, deadly sparks. We could probably use that. Stop, stop, burns! Wait, is it a lighter? Or what is that? <laughs> Um, Loose change? Oh, yeah, we were going to give this guy a uh, wallet. Should I give him the wallet seen my as dime? ransom? It seems like that wouldn't make much sense, but it probably doesn't matter. You got any gluten-free donuts? They're all kind of working together, I suppose. I have a brand new wallet that no one wants. Oh, a ransom the clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I going to do with this piece of well, now that's incredible because that means they had to record lines for like every possible combination you can use for the different characters solving the different puzzles, you know? I could have given that wallet to him from any character and uh, it's always going to be unique, you know? That's kind of cool. Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? <laughs> All right. We should probably give this to one of the other guys, though. So with this and the stuff from the toilet paper, we could probably combine that in that blood Tron 3000 or whatever, and maybe get um, a hint as to who we're chasing. I guess a match. So let's go ahead and switch to I need here. to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on. And uh, we'll go get that stuff. I think that's what we need. Um, if we look at our to-do thing, we needed a blood swab from the body and a suspicious item with blood on it, the wallet. So we got both of those. I think we could start to make progress on that. Yeah, broken Pez dispenser. So we'll go into town. I think it was on A Street. I just have to get the characters together to hand off the item. I think the clown was right over here. There I you are. I hate this town. As soon as we see the clown, he says that. Let's switch here. Let's give... The wallet. Here's away. a bloody wallet. I hope you get hepatitis. Jeez. Um, and I think she already has the tissue paper. Yes. So let's go back to the sheriff's place and combine all these items, which I think is on the other street. So on Main Street? Here it is. This game's fairly big. Like, there's a lot of places to go to for this type of game. Oh, that's the Arrestron. We're not ready to use that yet. 
Were the other machines in the coroner's office? There's the bloodtron. Well, let's use this. It's too soggy to put in the bloodtron. Wait, too soggy. Do I need to combine them? Gross. No. But how am I gonna dry it off? Um put it in the tuna can? I don't even know. Gross. Let me see what the other characters have. Again, the ghost blow on it. I don't know if we can hand items to the ghost. Probably not. Funny thing. And I don't know if we can get the ghost to blow on an item in the inventory. Or with some regular toilet paper. Maybe combine the really messy toilet paper with other toilet paper and it'll even out. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has much. I guess you could combine it on the toy bear. That'd be gross. And we can play as her as well. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Oh, voice activated. So maybe I need to start talking to it and then it'll ask me for the items. Um... <laughs> you can ask it math questions. I love the voice they gave it. What's the last digit of pi? Oh no. It's never going to finish. Fine. No, wait, seven. <laughs> no, wait. The primary function of the blood drawn 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze the blood sample and the bloody object to ensure arrest of the suspect. Procure a slob or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Well, we do have absorbent material. I mean, it's already on there, right? Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I... I mean, the blood drawn 3000 trademark will confirm a positive match. <laughs> he almost talked in the first person. Procure a slob or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Okay, well, I think we've met that requirement with the toilet paper still. Locked off. But maybe not, because it's complaining about how it's dripping. It's too soggy to put in the blood tron. Hmm. Yeah, what are we going to do with this? How about the circus flyer? Gross. Wipe some on the circus flyer. Not so much. Yeah, it could be more toilet paper. That's an idea. Asifa. I'm pretty sure we can probably go back to the hotel and try to procure some. It was the easiest way out of here. Ah, fireplace. There was a fireplace in the mansion, but we can't go in there yet. We actually have to probably play as her so she can finish her will writing stuff and then I think other people can probably come in here because there was a fireplace right over here that's a good idea okay before we tackle that I'm going to take a quick restroom break so let me do a quick save do it right there I like how all the times are on the screen right there that's really handy we'll leave it right here let me tab out of there you get some nice, uh, what do you call it? Some background music. It's still playing the game music while I'm here. Okay, let us do a quick boss battle, guys. While I take a little restroom break, grab a snack. We'll just do medium, because we tried that hard yesterday, and I think, well, actually, I think you guys did beat the hard one. But we might not have as many players as last night, so we'll do that. Time for some 
murder. So to join in this boss battle, all that you guys have to do is type... Wait, where is it? I don't see any of the uh, information on screen. <laughs> Shouldn't it be popping up right now? I just see a timer. <laughs> it should be telling you to type exclamation point warrior... What is it? Mage and... Uh, uh, priest, I think it is, but I don't see anything popping up here. What's going on? I don't think it's actually working. <laughs> it's actually letting you join. So yeah, type exclamation point mage, warrior, or priest, and hopefully it'll let you join. Because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> you can read the commands on screen today, and they're not here. I know, funny thing, as soon as you get that chance. So you're not at 160p? funny thing? Do you have it at like 480p or something higher? Oh, you guys get to fight the uh, Aya Cthulhu. Is it going to work? Okay, it's there. Sweet. Okay, guys, I'm going to use a restroom. I'll be right back. Oh, and funny thing, you get to battle as your new character. That's cool. Okay, see you guys in just a minute.
Dang, guys, that's two bosses you killed in a row. I need a, not just a normal hard boss. We need like a super extreme Dark Souls style hard boss. <laughs> you guys are too good for that. Congratulations. Nice thing about that is everybody participating gets some extra tokens, which is awesome. Nice job. All right. Where were we? Well, we had just switched over to Dolores, and she is kind of in the middle of doing some, you know, will stuff for her uncle that just passed away, and her father, I guess. Both of them died, like, just right away. I know, funny thing, it used to be really tough. I feel like we hardly ever beat the boss battles. They were kind of brutal. I think that's like three or four bosses you guys have beat in a row. I need some new options. One thing I want to do is get some custom boss battles so like you can fight a giant pixel art Georgie or something. I could do a photo of Georgie. That'd be pretty easy. Just put him on a green screen. A giant scary Georgie face appears on screen and comes after you. That would be cool. <laughs> That's true. I'm not sure how many people can actually play it, Hasifa. It might be the more players you have, the harder it gets, which would make sense. I mean, you kind of want that. Okay, so what is her to-do list for the day? Find out what happened to dad. Practice ASCII tables. Um, get the key to the factory gate. Everybody wants to go to the factory. Talk to Lenore in the library. Lenore, I don't think we know who that is. I mean, collect 50 more specs. Everybody wants dust. Okay, so where is the will stuff happening? I'm not sure. Yes, the puppy and kitty from Bloodstain. Those, like, shocked the hell out of me when we first saw them, Relentless. Just giant, cartoony animal heads. Why is this here? There's still another can of poopsie. Let's grab the poopsie. We had it before, but she put everything away. Oh, Nate, congratulations on getting the monitor set up. Now, you, I saw when I was getting a snack... You had mentioned, where was that? So you had the monitor set up, but it almost fell down, right? When the first round started. So like, it wasn't quite, I guess, attached correctly. It almost crashed down. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, there's a piece of dust. There's nothing inside. There's, no there's nothing inside. <laughs> Are we going to do this again? There's nothing. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's, there's nothing inside. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. Just got to check them all. No, I think we're good. There's nothing inside, guys. Oh, so the older monitor, Nate, doesn't actually have the visa holes, so you have an adapter. Which, of course, makes it kind of crappy in the first place. What is going on over here? <laughs> Who's Doug? Is this the groundskeeper? What is he doing? Digging! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. What? Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. <laughs> just, just let them dig in the living room. Yeah, totally Dig in. <laughs> this game is so crazy. Are we sure there's nothing inside? Where the hell have you been, Dolores? Here we go. We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. He's having fun Wait, digging holes. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. I don't like her too much. <laughs> the whole stream has one brain cell. <laughs> That's great. Great minds think alike. That's all I can say. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores, if you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. Uh-oh. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. 
That's right. We we did really piss off Uncle Chuck before we went to go become a game programmer. He wanted us to take over the pillow factory. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. You would think. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. If she's in such a hurry to get the will read, why wouldn't she be calling the lawyer herself and getting all this ready to go? It's like, I really want this to happen, but I want you to do the work to get it done. What? So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Although back in the 80s, being a game developer probably wasn't very highly sought after. Games just weren't very big in the 80s, so it was probably thought of more of a hobby than like a real career path, where now video games make more money than movies and music. It's crazy. <laughs> Boom, relentless, nice. Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. <laughs> what? You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ah, uh, You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. I've always liked that term, throwing hands, because that is literally what you're doing, you know? Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. Yeah, right, Nate? Basically. Most people would probably think Grand Theft Auto or something, but I think Hitman or one of those is more apt for that description. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. Have we met Chuck Jr.? I don't know. How are things with Peter? Fine. And just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Oh, wait, that's her son. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. What? Peter is embarrassed to talk to a... Um, you know what? We can't even talk to the guy? <laughs> okay, so we have to talk to the lawyer. What's the lawyer's name? Can I just use the phone? Nope. We have to know the actual lawyer's name. Okay, what else do we have to do here? Find out what happened to dad, practice our ASCII, get the key to the gate, and dust. I guess we really just need to find out the lawyer's name so we can call him. Let's get to the, oh wait, this is our room back here. Maybe this will work. <laughs> I, uh, accidentally funny thing, I do turn almost every game into a murder simulator, don't I? It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. So what do I have to do? Use it? It's my handy ASCII chart. No. How do I practice it? It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. With dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazing leaf. It's my state of the art com. Okay, I could turn the computer on. 
but I can't really do anything with it. <laughs> nice, Relentless. That's going to come in handy quite a bit. Oh, maybe I have to click on the keyboard. Maybe that was it's my, my problem. state of the, it's my state of the art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 no. floppy drives and a blazingly fast. It's my state. It's my state of the art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a. I can only turn it on and off. I guess I can't actually use it. There's so many items we used to have that she put down in between chapters. I don't know if we actually need them or not, but. So our mission was to... Oh, I guess we did practice our ASCII tables. Never mind. All right. Maybe if we go to our uncle's office, we'll find out who the lawyer is. Yeah, those posters are great. A lot of them I recognize, which is cool. Oh, I saw a piece of dust right there. Just out of view. There we go. I think this was the office. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Oh, there were some things here we couldn't look at before because he was around. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I remember wondering, how are we going to get rid of him? I didn't expect him to die. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Can I check it out? It's Uncle Chuck's check register. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. No point in writing any checks. The account's been drained. Oh, I just wanted to look at some names. Looks like an old receipt. Here we go. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Oh, there's been people that said they couldn't pull vacuum tubes. There we go. We need to find that. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. I'd have to pick it up first. There we go. Journal entry 167. I've started this journal to keep a record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great. Something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. <laughs> yes, just as I had predicted. My new Tron tube is amazing. It's giving me the idea I need to explore. Yes, this is working out well. Better than I had hoped. I just need to make sure the solder connections are good and I'll be able to move on to the next phase. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. It's quite complex, but this new Tron tube turns it into child's play. The first step is to automate some of the factory machines. This should increase pillow production by 700%. The profits will be endless. We've seen machines everywhere in this game. I've automated most of the factory machines. Not only has the production increased by 704%, I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. <laughs> You hate to see it. <laughs> You're right, Relentless? Yeah, we sure got rid of him. Um, I still need to keep Mr. Reyes. Oh, that's our other character. I still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as a security guard until the security robots are functional. So he already knows these people. Um, the new SR-01 security robots are working. I've hidden the programming manual in the mansion library. I'll have to get that. There is one flaw in the design I need to fix. I've added a to-do list. Uh... To the, or a to-do to the code. This AI is better than I expected. The machines almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. I could win a Nobel Prize with this, but I need to keep it a secret. It's too profitable to share. And then at the end, Franklin is good with the books, but I wish he'd keep his ideas to himself. I'm increasing the speed of the neural tube network for the Tron AI. It's amazing. I just installed Tron machine. Whenever I hear Tron, I think in the movie Tron. Uh, Tron machines in the coroner and sheriff's office. They have been perfect in identifying petty crimes. These will revolutionize law enforcement when perfected. I fired the coroner, but it, it might look odd if Thimbleweed didn't have one. So I have a plan. More on that later. Did he clone that guy? <laughs> Is that his? What if it's not a real person? The pillow factory and the town's Tron machines are the talk of the country. The rich and famous are flocking here, and I've been neglecting my inventions in favor of too many parties at the Mansion Mansion. What is that Mansion Mansion? Dolores is such a bright girl. I showed her how to solder tubes this afternoon. She took it like a true Edmund. I see bright things in her future. 
I really need to take a break from socializing and tend to the factory Tron machines. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behavior from the smarter AI. I need to look into that. I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid about his job or make and making things up. I've increased the neural tube network yet again. I had an interesting conversation with the main at, at the main factory AI. It has some interesting ideas. <laughs> Talking with your AI you created. I've become distracted with this text adventure I downloaded from a BBS last night. Uh, that's cool. It's got me thinking about AI in games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. Willie is dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. She said my girl, or she was my girl, not his. Oh, Willie, that's the guy that's now the drunk, right? Like the kind of the hobo that was looking for a wallet. Willie's watch business is no more. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. This text adventure is really interesting. Using my AI, I might be able to simulate a little world in here. I need to get to work. It sounds like he likes making games. Why was he so upset when Dolores wanted to? I don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor two, and pillows started, or then the pillows went up in a flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. This is a big diary. I went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything up. Was he really? I mean, oh, what if that Mr. Reyes he's talking about is not the one we have as an FBI agent? What if it's like his father and that's why he's here or something? The guard bots thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. Oh, that's terrifying. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Oh, he's trying to cover up the murder that just happened. Uh, Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down. It might be more than valuable. Back at the factory trying to clean up, most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is that the most complex systems were hard at work simulating my text adventure world and were unaffected. I'm going to move them into the basement. The main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid, so Miss, Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. It's the last I'll see of them. I need to redouble my efforts on the main Tron machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. The loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under, and thankfully, there are fewer parties. I can finally spend more time working. 11.38. 11.38. Where do I know that number from? Oh, it's from that stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. 11.38. I don't know what space movie they're talking about. Wait, it goes from 9.75, 10.90, 11.38, and then 20.89. I've neglected my journal for a while. Dolores is growing up, despite having a wimp for her father. I'm glad she has taken to electronics and computers. She might be the key to the Pello factory's rebirth. Wow, 4450. I can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in the Pello factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Plus, I can't have the factory restarted now. It will screw up with my research. I'll have to deal with him. He's easily distracted with accounting. I'll have him redo the books. And then Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She will be overjoyed. Dolores seems to be interested in making games. This is perfect. I need to show her my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. The world simulation is getting good. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. It seemed weird that she was so angry. She is out of my will. Dolores has turned on us. She's taken a job at a game company far from Thimbleweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. Maybe I was a little hasty with Dolores. At least she is making games. There might be hope. The AI says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. I think I discovered something amazing. I need to investigate this further. It can't be true. Or can it? A lot of things would make sense if it were. I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. No, wait. We don't get the final understanding of what he was talking about because he ran out of space just right right here there's all kinds of room right there <laughs> yeah we talk about pillows a lot in this game 
Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. And apparently was involved in some really shady stuff. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Okay, so what can we use that we never used before? There's a large uh, tube right here. Can we pick it up? Ah, we got that. It's a spare AT-25 tube. Very rare. Hard to find. Don't know what we need with that. There's a strange device right here. It's a strange device with a red button. Pick it up. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. We should use it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. <laughs> smart, Dolores. You're smarter than me. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Yeah, why is it spelled like that? Is that finish or something? Can we open up the box? Nothing in here but broken mm. Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Aw. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 tubes. vacuum tubes. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Can we take the vacuum tube out of this? It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. Ah, well, they talked about a tube puller, so we should be able to find it. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Whatever the hell that does. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. But we probably will. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Well, I mean, you could. It would be interesting. Oh, I could have turned on the light. Whoops. There we go. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Hmm, funny desk. No drawers at all. Interesting. So you're not sure why it was spelled like that either, Relentless? But Doug has a similar energy to Susie. I could see that. I could see that. You know, rather than just like teleport through all these doors, I'm actually going to walk this way and see if there's any more pieces of dust to pick up. No, I don't see anything. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Where is that? Now, after all of that... It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. Brant Balowick. Payment in full for will and reading. Oh, there we go. Balowick. That's what I was looking for was the name. Okay, so let's go back to the library. And now we have a phone number to call. Wait, no, I think this is first name, then last name, isn't it? It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. Right. Have you guys ever seen a listing like this? It's sorted by first name? It seems so backwards to me. Here we go. Hey, it even highlights it. That's kind of handy. Uh, 7031. There we go. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Oh, then no. you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. Well, crap. We can't even call him. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I tried. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you okay, say that's it funny. to me. Stop bothering Chucky. <laughs> Her kid's name is Chucky. Um, there was some book he said was hidden here. Do you remember what that was? We read it in the journal. I'm trying to see where that was. It'd be good to do it while I'm remembering it. Otherwise, I'll forget all about it and never find the book. Yeah, he said he hid something in the library. <laughs> she really should hit her on the way out. I 
I'm just kind of scanning this to find something about hidden in the library. Where was that? Okay, programming manual. So we need the security robot programming ma manual. SRO1. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup it, system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. I don't need to find any books now. Well, I mean, I kind of do. <laughs> but I have no idea where to look. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wait until we find a security robot. And then she'll have a reason to look at this. Because, yeah, there's no way we're just going to, like, find it doing this. I mean, maybe you could, but that would take forever. Oh, piece of dust. They hide those really well. Hey, there's our buddy digging again. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. <laughs> Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. So I'm confused. What am I supposed to do about calling the lawyer? I'm guessing I just have to do it later. If I do it now, we're not going to get anywhere because the lawyer's not there. Can we leave? We can leave. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to go to the lawyer? Although, now that we can leave, I wonder if other people can come in. Um, What were we trying to do with her? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I wanted to try using the fire to dry out that. Um, how do I get out of here? Oh, can I just go to the map? There we go. I wanted to try to dry out that blood. That's right. So let's try to go to the mansion and see if we can go in there or not. If not, maybe I can hand off the bloody tissue paper. It's gross. And then she can go inside and do it. Oh, you're doing a vertical monitor, Nate? Oh, that's awesome. I've got my eyes on you. Is it going to be... Um, in view when you stream Nate, you'll see that monitor. Or are you just trying to figure out where in the orientation of your monitors would look nice for you. 5858. Where have I heard that address before? Oh yeah, we can go in here now, I think. It's very dry firewood. Better ring the doorbell. Alright, Jair. You can't come in. A body is stored. Unless you hear a warrant to search me holes. Been doing a lot of digging. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. Sound okay, like... then. I'll be back. <laughs> Sound like he said that he buried a body? Is that what I heard? Okay, so if we can't get in there with her... Let's just go ahead and give this to her. I don't want to give away evidence. Oh, okay. We still can't do that. Hello, Agent Ray. Well, we can talk in here now, so that's good. So your webcam used to sit on top of this monitor. Oh, like you would clip it, right? Um, but with the vertical orientation, it's just a little bit too up high. So now you're just trying to make it look nice at this point. One thing you could do is... Um, you can usually get them fairly cheap. They might be like 15, 20 bucks, but just get the cheapest possible desk mount, like with an arm, Nate. And with that, you can then just attach your webcam to that. And then anywhere behind your monitors, you can put it to get a good angle. You got a few options like that. <laughs> diggy, diggy hole. Program any new murder simulators. Am I a suspect? Do I need a lawyer? Everybody Getting calls a that. lawyer only makes you look more guilty. That's quite a large inheritance you're up for. 
There's your sister next on your hit list. Oof. Do I need a lawyer? Getting a lawyer only makes you look more guilty. Bye. Okay, we didn't have too much with that. Um. So with Dolores again... I, I, do we have to go find the lawyer? I'm not sure, because I tried calling and that didn't work. I don't know where we get the key to the factory. Not sure where that is. And then she also wants to find out what happened to her dad. Was the lawyer somewhere in town? I'm not sure. What was at the trailhead? Oh, this is where we need to maybe possibly find these people, huh? The, the weird pizza party. That's right. Don't know what the hell's going on with that yet. Man, there's all kinds of options here. I'm assuming... Oh, I bet it is. That's probably right, Hasifa. Although I, I can't call them, so I think I need to find them. And I don't know where we're going to find them. Let's just check out town real quick. Maybe there's a building open now that wasn't open before. Hi, Ransom. It's good them to talk. Let's see. There we go. Uh, hi, Ransom. What the f*** do you want? Were you the killer? No way. I hardly ever even leave the circus except to pick up all my fan mail. I believe you. You're kind of a creep, but I don't think you're a killer. You! <laughs> you sure it wasn't you? Are you sure it wasn't you that killed that poor man? You! You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck. I loved insulting kids. It was so easy to make them cry. Seeing you curse scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career, and now I can't even afford to buy makeup Ooh. remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You! I didn't think about it, but we can probably take Ransom to that um, witch and talk to her directly. I need to go. Have you seen my dime? It's actually right there. I kind of want to see what their interaction's like. We don't have any reason Loose in the game to this yet, but I got No way am I going in there. She is a crazy, yeah, a vengeful crystals. witch. Oh, dang it. I wanted you to see any, what he would say. Secondhand crystals? It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Okay. Well, the only other place is this is Main Street and A Street, right? There's the bank. It says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely's first savings manager, Mr. Now we've been Alcalo. to that pillow factory. There was nobody there. Oh, here's B Street. Down the tubes. I remember that one. And there's the arcade. We didn't see anything going on in the arcade. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see any lawyer place. So if we can't call him and there's no physical place we can find him, I'm not sure what we do next. Maybe there's some other place we can open up in the game. There's no path beyond this point. There's no there's no path beyond this point. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a map. So she, I can't just like go directly to the map and pick a place to go. That'd be nice if you could photocopy the map for every one of your characters so they could all transport themselves it's a can of poopsie. whenever they wanted to go. Almost missed a speck of dust. Okay, can we go out town here? I'm trying to get back to the map. I think it's this way. I think this gives you the map view. Piece of dust. 
<laughs> so well hidden. I'm guessing she has to do all of her stuff at the mansion right now. Eventually we'll find a gate key, but that's probably in the mansion as well. Hey, now he's up on the stairs doing that. What's going on? He just keeps teleporting every time we come back. Hmm. Well, can I leave a message? Let me try it again. Was it seven one zero three? Is that right? No, I think I messed that up. Let me check the phone book again. 7031. Oh, I was so close. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Still not there. Do you Maybe have legal we're problems? just not supposed you've come to do to the right this place. yet. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. So, and I don't know about him prepping for ThimbleCon. I don't think we've seen that anywhere on the map. So, I think we might be done with her until later. Although she also wants to find out what happened to her dad. Kind of everybody's trying to do that. We could take her to the hotel. Um, and as far as the factory key, I don't know. I guess I thought that might have been in that room. Where all of this stuff was, his bedroom. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. We need to find that puller. We haven't found that yet. And I don't know what this dangerous dual voice does. Hmm. Okay, well, you're probably right, Hasifa, about needing to dry this out it's soaked with a dead body's blood what a mess in the fireplace that's a good idea but we don't have access to that until we do Dolores's thing hmm kind of why I'm keeping her here you know what we should do We need to get this guy his journal back. Any other places with fires? Mm, there might have been. I can't think of another fire that we had. Is there like another fire that was always going? Because I just know at the house we have firewood and gasoline so we can start our own fires. Although, we might be able to walk up there and just grab it anyway. Okay, so let's um, switch to her. Take Reyes's notebook and give it back to Reyes. Oh, my notebook. I thought I'd lost that for good. These means a lot to me. Thanks. I just wanted to be able to see what his to-do list was, you know? So I think his to-do list and Ray's are pretty much identical. We never found mushrooms in the sewers. I don't know if I can even get back there because they blindfolded us. And we haven't found the murder weapon yet, so we can't do that yet. Can we take 58, 58. wood and gas? Where have I heard that address before? <laughs> nice spider. Five minutes of auto tune. It's been a while since we heard that. Let me switch to here. Oh, you know what? My voice thing has been kind of acting up. I can do this one, but it's not letting me change to the auto tune. Let me try restarting that software. Okay, my my voice. Oh, there's like an update or something. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I had to oh, I had to click on something before it would go back to normal. Okay. What does it sound like now? Okay. 
There we go. Okay. I think we're good now. So that was auto tune. Boom. Okay, are we auto tuned now? We should be. Test, test. Yes. Okay, there we go. We got it working. Yeah, there was just some kind of like splash screen to my voice software and it wasn't going to work until I clicked through it. I never even looked at it. I just started the software, minimized it, and left it. I might need a hint. Although maybe I'll use their built in hint thing, Hasifa, unless you can maybe just point me in the right direction. Um. Oh wait, was there a fire where the homeless guy was? I wonder, there could be a fire there. Well, I think I'm in the right, wrong character. That's okay, we can just check. I think it was down the other street. Have you seen my there is a fire here, okay. Well, let's get everybody here, be one big happy family. You always associate homeless people with fires. It's like, ah, they're probably trying to stay warm, especially at night. So, checks out. Okay, I think I picked the right street. No, I think we're on the wrong street. Let's go back. The music in this game is so chill. I really dig it. I think it's this street right here. This song right here is actually what I have playing when we first start the stream. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Okay, so let's try to use the soaked bloody swag? tissue with the fire. It's working. The paper is drying out. Nice. That's a tricky one. I wouldn't have really thought to do that crystals? just intuitively. Maybe because I just thought it's toilet paper. If you get that anywhere near fire, it's just going to catch on the flames, you know? Oh, and there's different ways of doing that. That's really cool. So I might have come up with maybe the items that I have some completely different way of doing it. Okay, so now we should be able to combine those two items of the Bloodtron 3000 and get some kind of clue. And the wallet. Hey, there we go. We got something. Check out this blood report. Okay, input bloody wallet and corpse blood output. The blood on the wallet matches the body's blood 100% accuracy. Okay, so the wallet, do I still have the wallet or did it take my items? I think it took the items. So we know the wallet does belong to the body, but I think we already assumed that, right? Did that really teach us much? I would have... Wait. Uh, yeah, I would have hoped looking at the wallet would have given us some identification. Maybe I... Crap, was I supposed to look at the wallet before that? I wonder if I can get my items out of here. Impressive, but nothing happened. I can't pull that. No, I can't actually get the items back. I probably don't need it. I was just thinking, ah, oh, maybe you can get it back. So you could use the bloody tissue in the gas station bathroom. Oh, the hand dryer. That's clever. Okay, nice. That one, I, that one to me, makes more sense. I, I completely forgot about the hand dryer in the bathroom. All right, so we're still finding the murder weapon. We do have the fingerprint kit, so that's good. Um, and then a face Tron report. Let me check the Facetron, what it needed again. We might already have everything we need for the Facetron, I'm not sure. I wonder if they all sound the same. Yes. 
<laughs> what are the three laws of robotics? Nice. I was thinking that I wonder if he's going to have the same robotic laws as Robocop. He did not. It is somewhat close, but not quite. It should be. Okay, describe your primary function. The primary function of the Face Drawn 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. How do I get a photograph of the dead body? We already have one. Procure an official law enforcement camera. Then to use oh, he actually tells me the steps. That's kind of cool. What kind of official identification do I need? We do have a passport. That's not from that body. The face trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Well, no, the passport was the German guy. That was the guy down there. I'm, I'm mixing up my dead bodies because we got three people dead right now. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, passport works. Okay. Okay, do we already have everything on her, though? We got the photo of the dead body here. You know what? I think... I need to stay focused and solve he has this the passport. so I can do yep. what I need to do. Okay, so we'll have to take him over there to add the item, too. I wish I, I just wish all these characters had a map and make it so much easier to get from place to place. Although they move pretty quick, so it's not too terrible. Especially if you double click, they just go running. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the passport. And then we'll switch to Ray. We'll use the photo of the body. There we go, making some progress. That's two out of three done. Check out the report. So the output, photo identified as suspicious German businessman Boris Schultz, 100% accuracy. So we know the victim, we got the blood proof as well. I wonder if this is somebody we can call, maybe get some more information on the guy. But if he's not around here, from around here, he wouldn't be in the phone book. So that wouldn't help us anyway. So if I check the journal now, we've done everything except for get the fingerprint report, which we don't know what the murder weapon was yet, do we? And put them all into the restaurant to make an arrest. And then find mushrooms in the sewer. Gotta figure out how to get back into the sewer. Hmm. Okay, well let's uh let's swap you characters. Got any, real quick. Uh, second hand crystals? See what other to-do list items we might be able to knock out. Multiple people need the key to the factory gate. No idea where to find that. Oh, you know what? It could be in a lockbox at the post office, potentially. We still have to find the missing joke page, and he wants a bunch of dust. Oh, that's cool. This number actually counts down. So we were at fifty-two earlier, now we're at forty-seven. You have not, Spider. I love you too, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Loose change? I think we're done with that guy. We already got the wallet from him. I don't think we have to do anything else. Um, gosh, so many characters, so many to-do lists. What do we want to do next? So he has to try to talk to Dolores, but he can't leave this place. Unfortunately, all three of his things require him to leave. Oh, wait, what if we take Dolores to the hotel? Maybe then they could talk. Diggin! If we can't get him out of there, we can definitely get her into there, right?
There we go. Yeah, she can go there. Oh, you can double click here too to make it go fast as well. Now, what do you got going on this weekend, Spider? And everybody, any fun plans for the weekend? I think you said you were getting ready for a camping trip still, right, Spider? But that's next weekend. Okay, so let's... Um, I wonder where we should do this. Well, back to work. I guess I'll try to take him downstairs to talk to her. That is next weekend. The elevator isn't on this floor. That's going to be a lot of fun. I definitely want to do some camping this summer. One of the few things we can pretty safely do during COVID, right? Okay, down to the lobby we go. Listen, you're going to watch Call Me By Your Name tomorrow so I can act like I'm crying because of the movie and not because I'm alone in Santa. <laughs> Wait, what is that movie, Relentless? Call Me By Your Name? I've never heard of that one. Is it like a love story? Like kind of perfect for Valentine's Day stuff? Oh, you might stream again tonight? More Assassin's Creed or something else, Spider? She's right there. I wonder what the guest is up to now. So there is a talk to option. Dolores! It's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Oh, that's so sad. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Oh, and you're going to stream tonight and tomorrow. What are you streaming, uh, Nate? Are you still working on Hitman or did you wrap that up? I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Aw, I like him. He's cool. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. So did that count as... Yep, try to talk to Dolores. Okay, that's done. So we still have to visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. Oh, that's in the graveyard. That's right. Um, we saw that at the very end of the graveyard and escaped the afterlife. No idea how we're doing that, but if I try to leave... What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. So, how are we getting out of here? I'm not sure. Do I just need to talk to all the ghosts and try to find out a way out? Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. He might be at the penthouse. I wonder if we can go to the penthouse as, as the ghost. So it's a bittersweet love story about Elio, an Italian teenager who falls in love with Oliver, an American student who comes to live with Elio's family over the summer. So it's about first love and losing that love and how life doesn't always work out the way you want it to. So it's very realistic, very realistic, as many of us, even here in the stream, have had to deal with, sometimes even very recently. So you did finish Hitman 1 and 2, and now you're working on 3. So Nate, did you play all of the other ones through Hitman 3, or did you play the actual Hitman and 1 and 2? Because I think in Hitman 3, you could play through the other ones, which is kind of cool. I have Hitman 1 and 2, but not 3. And you're going to do um, Dream Daddy tomorrow? That's pretty perfect. <laughs> That's a perfect Valentine's Day game. Um, okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get to the penthouse. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do to get out of here? Oh, so we do have a mission to get into the penthouse. Okay. Hmm. Do we have to distract her? I'm not sure. You have been playing them in Hitman 3? I'm guessing you probably get some enhancements. Like, is it like in the new graphics engine and all that kind of stuff? Just makes it look better. It's a beautiful story, but it also hurts. I love the like realistic ones. You know, I don't mind a happy ending, but all, all stories don't need happy endings. It's not very realistic. Xavier says talking on duty is not. I wish allowed. I could zap. Also, leave me alone. Her. Oh. <laughs> I can't really do anything to her. Ooh. I love that they have that. Hmm. How are we getting... 
upstairs then. There's really no stairs to use. You have to use the elevator. There are a ton of rooms we can look in, and they're all going to be identical. Okay, so there's something to do with the guy in room 12, or floor 12. We could scare him, and that distracted the hotel guy, but I'm not exactly sure why yet. Oh, it also has a good soundtrack. And you think the movie came out in 2017? Oh, it's pretty new. Is this a live action movie or is this an animated one? Relentless. Was he in this room? Okay, here's the guy that gets spooked by everything. What was that? Oh, wait, can I zap this? If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. Aw, <laughs> that would have been cool. That doesn't use electricity. Nope, can't zap the hotel yet. And so that happens. Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. That poor man. I've got to keep trying to help a boo him. And then Hello, this happens. Acme maintenance. It's the Edmund Abu Hotel. We've got an emergency Abu right now. But they're not well, what working. Do you mean so you're not available tonight. Comes to this. You're supposed to be a 24-hour service Arito Abu. Where will I find someone else Abu at this hour? I just realized he mixed. Huh. Well, maybe I imagined it. He mixed his two sayings. He said Abu and Arino all in one sentence. Oh, can we blow on him? I think we did once, but it's just kind of more of the same effect. Again, there must be a gap in the window. Last week. Again, there must be a gap in the window. It's getting dark out there now. That would be cool if we could float outside the window. Even if the door is blocked, what if we could go outside? But nope. You know, now maybe we're supposed to look at this when he uh, mentions that. Oh, wait, no, we can only do that as a ghost. That's right. That's how we found out the room number. Hmm. Actually, we could go up there and talk to him ourselves. The doors as well. are closed. 1209. See if we can knock on the door. Talk to him as a human. Find out who he is, you know? I guess I've only ever interacted with the ghost, which that hasn't gotten us anywhere besides popping his head. Oh, there's an idea, Hasif. I didn't think about new dialogue options like that. I'll try that in just a sec. I don't even know if I can. Although that's a cool ghost emote. I like that spider. Kind of reminds me of a off-brand Slimer. It's locked. Can we use it? It's locked. Oh, I thought maybe I could knock or something. I don't think so. It's locked. Nope. The doors are closed. There's a classic ghost. <laughs> kind of a more cute ghost. Come on. I do wish the elevator could be a little bit quicker, especially when you're going 12 floors. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. How else may I be a boo of service? <laughs> I need the key. Actually, we need the gate key. Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me oh, everything. Information? That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. 
How else may I be a boo of service? Hmm. I mean, we know it was her dad. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so she can't ask about the ghost stuff. I wonder if one of our other characters can. Luckily, she has the map, so we can get there really quickly. <laughs> Are you the key? No, what is it? The key master spider. Are you the gatekeeper? Don't do drugs. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Uh, we don't have any options for ghost stuff. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. We heard that before. Definitely not, Abu. But no, nothing about ghosts. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Yes, I don't know what that scaring really does for you. And that's locked. It's locked. Hmm. And then there's this wine glass. We still can't do anything with this. I've never been able to pick it up. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests. But right there's now. lipstick on it, which makes me think I we're going to do something with that later. Up to now. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. How many oh, I thought I could catch him. He was looking at the guest. I'm no. going to check. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. And I don't know where we're going to get this factory key. The, I need the key. I wonder, can she go up to that room? She doesn't have the key card. I wonder what the guest... I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Although she might not have to go to the room to try to find out what happened to him, you know? Hello, Agent Ray. I keep finding these specks of dust all over the <laughs> there place. There it is, Spider. They've been around since before I can remember. I can't stop picking them up either. Never have been able to. <laughs> That's great. They actually explain all the dust. Bye. It's time. Last week. All right. So how are we getting him in the penthouse? In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. We kind of need to find the other ghosts to talk to them, but I don't know where they are, what floor they're on, or anything. It's a button to call the elevator. But I feel like I do need to talk to the ghosts to get more information. Just move to the factory? Yeah, I don't think they're going to be in any, like, random room. They could be in the ballroom. The ballroom's kind of sealed off, but we can't actually go in there yet. And I can't talk to this ghost at all. Last time I tried to go in the ballroom, the game told me uh, we're not ready for that yet or something like that. They're trying to call Acme something or other. Oops. Wait, we can call people as the ghost, can't we? It's chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. That's what we're waiting for with him, yeah. Maybe we can find him in the phone book. Unfortunately, I need a human to go look at a phone book. The doors are closed. Although even if the ghost could call, can't talk. Uh, wait, which, which room do we have a key to? 909. Okay, let's go to that one. Someplace we can get in and use a phone. Oh, we might be able to call for him then, Hasifa, rather than having to let him know if we call a different Ghostbuster, so to speak, and then send them here, then maybe they could do something. Uh, 
Okay, I think it was under Acme. No, I'm not seeing it here. Oh my gosh, you could look through so many different pages trying to find anything to do with... Uh... Oh, what did he say again? I think I need to listen to that piece of dialogue. The elevator, the elevator isn't on this floor. Acme what? There's some term he used. Let's see, something in our inventory? Pigeon Brothers, plumbing, electrical, and paranormal oh, I investigations. I forgot all about the Pigeon Brothers. Where don't monkey wrench around. That's Look right. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Okay, let's try calling Pigeon Brothers directly then. Oh, I need to look it up. Or we might be able to hand the card to him. Either one might work, but let's see if we can call him first. Pigeon Brothers, which are actually sisters. Uh, 2371. Fingers crossed. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal-related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. <laughs> Those signals. Okay, we should probably try handing the card to him. That's great. We're only doing paranormal stuff. Paranormal electric signal stuff. I always do that. I right-click when I mean to left-click when it comes to this elevator. You guys have probably seen me open and close that elevator door on accident a hundred times. Okay, so I want to try to give that card to the guy and then hope next time I scare the dude, he might just call. <laughs> or Spider Monkey. He has done some paranormal investigating himself. Which, when all this crap is done with Spider, we'll have to find a, a I wonder what another haunted place and we can uh, stream it or vlog it or do some paranormal investigation of our own. Okay, let's uh, give this card to the manager. I heard a rumor your maintenance people aren't available tonight. Why don't you try the Pigeon Brothers? Why, Abu, that's exactly what we need. Thank you so much, Abu. Okay, is he going to call right now, or... No, I think we have to do the scare again. I wonder what the guest is up to now. He was on 12. <laughs> you make the hauntings happen, Relentless. <laughs> hey, it's uh, job security, right? Okay, we're almost there. Poor guy. <laughs> He's just losing his mind. What was that? Again? Maybe I didn't imagine it. Okay, let's see what this guy does now. I think the pigeon that poor sister man. should come. Maybe these new people can help Abu him. Poultry Brothers plumbing, Abu? We've got a maintenance emergency, Abu, right now. You can be here right away. Thank Abu you. There we go. So now what are they actually going to do? How's this going to help us with our end goal? I'm not sure yet. We've received a signal that you're in need of some paranormal plumbing and electrical help. Thanks. Let me know when you're done. This is so funny. Oh, are we supposed to uh, spook them now? Help. I'm a ghost. Ooh. Maybe we need to, uh, they're in the bathroom. Mess with this. I don't want to disturb the professionals. I don't want to disturb the professionals. Okay, we're not supposed to. Can I do something further away from them? I tried to blow on them, you can't. 
The Hoteltron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. I don't want to disturb the professionals. No, we can't do anything with them. Okay. Well, now that they're here, I wonder if that changes every anything here. Like, are the other ghosts freaked out because there's paranormal investigators here? No, she's still here. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. No, not much has changed there. Maybe... Let me get out of the elevator. Maybe we want to go upstairs and talk to them. With like a human. Oh, there's some dust. Was that dust always there? Or does it get put down randomly? You know? Like over time. I, there's got to be some that I've walked by a hundred times now, never seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk to noobs. Noob. All right, hopefully she can get some information out of him. I mean, she does want to find out what happened to her dad. No time to talk. We're trying to work out what caused this malfunction. Can we take this wrench? Ah. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench that says Wrenchtron 3000. We're just going to steal their crap. Okay. Well, there's nothing of further interest in the bag. I think we might be done with these guys. I don't know if we have anything to give them, but we probably just needed the wrench for something. There's been a few of those What do you call them? Those tubes we couldn't take out, but I don't know if that had anything to do with it because it seems to me that that's not exactly what we want to use. He talked about having something special for taking out the tube. Oh, there are electronics in it. It was flashing. I wonder if it talks. I can't talk to it like it's that. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench that says Wrenchtron 3000. What if I just use it? Oh, you have to use it on something. What are you doing in here? Can't you tell we're doing important business? <laughs> you knew um, it, Skywalker. You knew it. Uh, sorry. I was just... Wait! Where's our Wrenchtron 3000 gone? Did you take it? Please give it back. Yeah, sorry. I'll give it back. Oh, thanks. You best be going now. Wait, can I... talk to it while it's there? You can't take it again. I'm not sure if I have to or if I should even. Um, okay, well, if it's doing that, can the ghost mess with it? Let's see if we can zap the wrench. That looks high tech, but I don't think zapping it will help. No, okay. There's an idea. Oh no, Skywalker. You missed out on some sweet, sweet tokens. That's okay. So we can probably just take it again. That'd be funny if you could talk to it. I'm not sure what we need the wrench for yet. It lets us leave with it, so I guess we could just give it back if we want, but I don't know why we would do that. Maybe we need it for something to do with the sewers. We do have to get back in the sewers. I wonder if there's like a grate that we can't open or something. We can use that to, to help get access, you know? All right, guys. Well, it's after four o'clock. We've been doing this for a while. This is probably a good stopping point. Let me go ahead and save it. Although it's a tricky spot because I'm not sure what we're doing next time. I will probably need some help. Let's see. Let's overwrite this one. I'm just kind of overwriting the oldest ones. Encore! 10 more songs! Or what was it? Spider, 20 more songs? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, Spider went to a concert. I did not join you for that one, but uh, to a local band, uh, not local band, but a band at a local venue. It's kind of at a bar, basically. And after they were done with their entire show, you and probably some other folks were chanting, 20 more songs! And they ended up doing, maybe not 20 more songs, but they did a lot, right? Like, it was a big encore. Basically, it sounded like a whole nother show which is freaking awesome. It's nice when you don't have a uh, strict time limit because the noise ordinance, they can kind of do that. It seems like most concerts I go to now have that very strict time.
time limit where it's like, nah, it's like 10.30, we gotta go, gotta get out. It's like, lame, it's no fun.